4th of March this year is flying by. My name is Graham Richards and this is you Good morning, man. Good morning. The 4th of March. Can you believe it, man? Ooh, so great. good to be hanging out with you. Um, I'll say it up front. It's my birthday month. Okay, oh, it really is. I'm just saying, just putting it out birthdays. there. Right? How it <laughs> it yeah, is, yeah. it really is. But listen, I hope you had a great weekend. That you were able to relax a little bit and that you are ready, full of energy and pumped for the week ahead because it's a brand new week. And of course, I can always say it's filled with brand new possibilities as well. Thank you very much for tuning in. We're going to have a lot of fun. Princess, good morning, love. Morning. You know you are the vital cog in this, this particular machine. Um, and of course, if you want to positively influence the day, if you want to crush your week, it starts today. Just getting out of bed can be your very first <laughs> victory of the day. We've got so much to get through this morning. Obviously on the sports in front, the protest is doing incredible well. Fuffy yeah. Pussy, just absolutely majestic up against Sri Lanka. We'll get into the sevens, which wasn't so great. But what happened in Vegas will hopefully stay in Vegas as we move on uh, to the next leg. But it's uh, lots of excitement as well. You know, we're going to be in the kitchen. We're going to have an awesome performance. And of course, we've got the rest of this gorgeous team to connect to after the weekend. How are you doing, guys? Oh, very good morning to our Woolworths Beauty Room. Uh, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be an absolutely awesome motivational Monday. My name is Leanne Williams, and this gorgeous being over here, Zoe Brown. Zoe, how are you doing, my darling? I'm doing good. And you know what? I love how you just started the day off saying by it is a motivational it is. Monday because that's exactly what we asked you on the social. So we're on the Expresso Facebook page. We asked you what is your motivation for doing the most this week. And I love the comments that's been coming through. We have Mukai that says hard hustle keep my faith in God doing nice. it the expresso way doing it every day we also have Donna sharing morning all be authentically you in everything mm. you do and always look on the bright side of life it's man yay so she's, yay. She's, she's taking ah. it from the fry yay and she's carrying through I to man that. yay so thank you for that Donna Donna uh, Bill says it's not Monday here yet I'm not rushing it lol of course Bill is one of our American viewers that's connecting with us on the Facebook on the Facebook. That's awesome. How's that for aging myself? And then Michelle says, good morning, Expresso fam. Have a blessed week. Just looking out for myself and my son. So there we go. Some people sharing their Monday motivation with us as how they're going to tackle the new week ahead. That's fabulous. And I love the whole Monday motivation thing, like preparing for work. Um, come inside. We have a knocking on the door. The door. <laughs> hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. How's it going? How's it going? How's how are you doing, Mr. Saptor's weekend hey. 2019? Oh, how was that? It was crazy. It was, it was so, awesome. so good. Good morning. Um, hi, everyone at home. This afternoon, I feel like I've just literally landed from Sun City right now. But it wow. was a great weekend. OK, we didn't win, but it was a fantastic show. I think it yeah. was well put together from start to finish, other than the obvious glitches that everyone could see. Yeah. But it was yeah. an enjoyable show. And wow, we celebrated some icons of the industry to wow. see Ntate Khoto Nkato on the yeah. stage. Now, yeah. This is a man that I remember growing up watching a show called Mopeme on yes. SABC2 and he was like this vigilante hero and to see him honored with a lifetime achievement award That's on that amazing. stage. I, I was nearly in tears oh, just man. to be there, bongo muffin performing, it was just massive. Awesome, what great moments, what great moments. Talking mm. about great moments, sometimes we need to just slow it down and reflect on certain people who have really left us with really memorable quotes. Now I don't know if you guys remember Raven Simone, she started off on the Cosme sh Cosby gotcha. show yeah. and then she actually got her own show on That's Disney so called Raven. That's So oh, Raven. Okay, okay, there we go. There exactly, we go. and as she's grown up, she's learned some really important uh, lessons about life, about bo body parts positivity and about being yourself and this is what she once said she said don't spend all your your time trying to be like someone else because you can never be them and they can never be you that's so I true. love that that's so true you do you yeah guys I am so excited the performer that we have today insane in the membrane <laughs> I can't <laughs> wait for you to meet him and to hear him performing. But let's first go to the kitchen and find out what's going <laughs> in the kitchen. <laughs> Hopefully nothing. <laughs> uh, thank you, family. Welcome to the kitchen where it's going <laughs> There's a lot of always going poof <laughs> in here. My name is Tavi Somakubela. Thanks for joining us on your Feel Good Breakfast Show this morning. And every day we really do show you how to make the most amazing meals. Meals you will never forget. Meals that are most pleasing to your taste buds. And today is no different. And for me, it's quite interesting because I don't know about your friends, but my friends are all about being fruit these days and they're also being about like meal prep so saving time and saving money at the same time has become 
hugely, hugely important. Exactly, and you still want to eat well. You While you're doing nice. that. Exactly, and, and, and it's possible, it really yeah. is. It is, we're gonna show you exactly how. It really is simple. If I'm here, then you know it really is simple. <laughs> we're making a basic savory mince, okay? It's savory, it's basic, it's mince, it's delicious. If you want the recipe sent to you, or the link to the recipe sent to you, SMS the keyword beef to 33728, and we're gonna be making something else. Absolutely, man. If it, I don't think it could get better on a Monday, yeah. because after a weekend, I mean, Monday, you, you don't want to spend a lot of time in the mm. kitchen, so a delicious spaghetti bolognese. Ooh, we're going to yes. help you put it together, put a little spin on it yeah. as well. There we have it. That's a little bit of what you can look forward to. The key yeah. there's dish, SMS 33728, if you want to get your hands on the ingredients list and a link to the recipe. There's dish mm. 33728, so stick around. It's going to be good. These are really good meals, but they're also easy to make as well. Uh, what did I want to say about them? There was something I wanted to say, but I'll say it later. Okay, <laughs> let's go back to the makeup. Just eat it, man. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right, we, as you can see, we are all still getting ready for this Monday morning. But this is Laz to the company, everybody. Laz, hey. Laz, Laz. Yes. Thanks, Laz. Um, I think this help everyone get ready for work, um, shall we? Oh! Flawless, flawless, oh, flawless. Man. Nick, so did you guys did you have a good weekend? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm all about supporting local design. Rosie and Vittori are it's very awesome. big emerging streetwear designers. This is local? It's local. Oh my Made word. Made local, sourced local, manufactured local, worn local, in my Get bed it. local, uh, at the party local. After party local. Why does it sitting have to be on you local, local in your bed? <laughs> you look at this look, even with the leopard print. Y'all know I love a fanny pack. Oh man. It's a state ball. Okay, okay, all right. Are you feeling it? You pull it off. Thank you. What about y'all? Well, you do pull it off, man. Y'all <laughs> How are we gonna stand up to okay. boots? Okay. No, no, we're well. Trust okay. me. Okay. Come on, I get up and then uh, what, what, what do you guys notice that I love the most? The wrap Ra dress. Oh oh the wrap dress. We I'm about this about life. The last yes. Week as well, a favorite of Michelle Obama. And if Michelle likes something, you just like it automatically. Exactly. You don't need. You don't need to. We don't need to I hear why like you. I feel like I'm becoming. Uh, <laughs> oh, yes, queen. Yes. Well, she has with your daughter, so you can't get in there. Why not? Well, you, no, absolutely, you could. She could adopt me. Melania, adopting African children. <laughs> oh, I meant like marrying them so you could get into the Obama family. <laughs> Adopt me, Michelle. Oh, well, she is the best. But again, we're doing very autumnal shades because it is winter drop at Woolworths officially. I know it feels weird because it's still sunny. I'm still sweating yeah, 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 as yeah. we speak. Uh, the winter drop is here, guys. So this is actually a good time to get your winter wardrobe staples now before people okay. actually need to get the winter wardrobe. Yeah, Do you yeah, know what I mean? Because uh -huh. once it starts to get chilly, yeah. everyone goes in and takes everything, all the good stuff gets going. Yeah. So it's a good thing to go now. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, well let's take a look at the weather, shall we? Yes. That's right, well, um, taking a look at the weather, just give me a quick second, I'll get that for you. Mm -hmm. If you need to know what to wear for today. Uh, let's start off, Johannesburg, a low of 17 with a high of 31 for today. Sunny, uh, well, partly sunny conditions. Of course, in Durban, a low of 23 with a high of 30 degrees Celsius. Also some partly cloudy conditions. If you're in Port Elizabeth, sunny conditions with a high of 25 for today and of course in the mother city some rain is predicted i know it was already drizzling earlier this morning but only a high of 22 degrees celsius that's expected for today fantastic stuff all right well while you guys go Looking. over there i need you guys to just ready yourself to meet this dude that i've known since i think i was 10 years amazing. old and he's been the most amazingly talented singer that i've ever heard in a very 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 long time and i can't wait for you to meet him ewan what's up man Oh man, I'm having an awesome time connecting with, and I, I don't know how to say it, say, Francois Clark. How, <laughs> how, how do we even introduce a man who is South African born, but now, of course, applies his trade in Canada. Dude, welcome to the show. Thank you so much, Ben. Um, thank you so much for, for coming here. Um, uh, I mean, to our show, not just to South Africa. I know you're here for, for a, a chance to connect with family. How cool is it being back it in is South Africa, amazing. man? It's the most amazing to be in Cape Town. Still my favorite. I was in San Francisco for a little while, and I thought, oh, maybe San Francisco is better, but no. yeah, come Cape Town on. is by far the best. Um, we obviously know very little about your music here. Um, mm -hmm. You've been, been out in the greater diaspora for a while. For, for people who are uninitiated, and this, is this the first time you've performed in South Africa? This will be my fir yeah, first time on a morning show in South Africa and performing my music in South Africa as well, yeah. Oh man, so how would you, how would you describe what can the, the, the millions that are going to be watching you this morning, how, how do you reckon um, they're going to take your music? How would you describe it? Uh, today's going to be very stripped down, except for the last song that Katlejo and I will be doing together. Nice. Um, it's just going to be piano, and, um, like me on the piano. Um, but the music in general, like the music on the, on the album is 
uh, kind of like an alternative pop Coldplay uh, with a little bit of R&B vocal. So yeah. ease us into a Monday. I absolutely love it, dude. I'm, I'm so glad that you are here. I hope this is going to be the start of many visits. Thanks. Every time you Me come too. to tour South Africa, you start here first, All right, and indeed. then you just do your do your thing. But um, I know we're in for a very very special performance. Cheers. So thank Thanks you so much for joining us this morning. Rosalba Clark is here to perform. I'd like to say just for us, but just for you as well. So you want to stay tuned. <laughs> So, of course, this weekend was a huge one for the South African film and television industry as the Saturdays 13 were held at uh, Sun City in the Super Bowl. And what a <laughs> night it was. Um, uh, I'm taking a nap. We are taking so a nap. comfortable, guys. <laughs> Comfort <laughs> and fashion. So Hate you this morning. She's like, get <laughs> off me. Well, well I, I, I will say a lot of people look comfortable at the Saptas as well. And yeah. very, very fashionable. Can I say you were robbed? No, don't say that. No, 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 no. Everyone is deserving as a winner. Congratulations to Sibui Lengesi. Well deserved. We love a winner. Yeah. But I wish you'd won. You know what? It would have been great for the family. It would have been. Okay, right. listen. But more than the awards, we mm. talk about the fashion. I'm doing a big roundup next week, but I just wanted to give a little preview, a little mm -hmm. snippet. First, starting with the hostess with the mostest, oh. Miss Pearl Moriarty. Yeah! Oh, yeah. Yay. You were struggling with that so much. I'm glad you got girl, it. Girl, we tight, girl, but I'm sorry. I'm just, you know, my English isn't, oh, my English is that, good. Okay. Your, your, your her is unbelievable. Isn't amazing? Yeah. yeah, on the red I carpet. Feel, I feel it's what somebody would wear at the Met Gala in yeah. the US. Oh, That's yes. how gorgeous it is. Is that a local designer? It is a local designer. Wow. And also, just on her body, I mean, it's literally just sculpted it her. to her wow. shape. Yeah. You see the silhouette, and too often times with these big award shows, you lose your shape completely, yeah. right? Yeah. And, and she of course, and this was her first time yeah. hosting this after I believe Thomas, so. Hey? I, you, yeah. you wouldn't say so because she's such a seasoned professional yeah. and she and Thomas were flawless. They were oh, amazing. Talk about flawless. Linda Matoba coming out of nowhere on that I mean, golf course. What? Come on now. I didn't Ooh. actually see any photos of her from inside the red car, but I think she was just too happy and preoccupied with the golf course outside. Of but course. why not when you look like that? Oh, but that looks like a full-on photo shoot, so of course. That's where completely. you get your best pictures. Wow. Is out and there. this is a throwback. This is like flapper chic. Stunning. But she's someone for me that just understands fashion yeah. so well and what 100%. looks good on her for uh -huh. me. Okay, did you see Samizi on the red carpet? I did, I did see Samizi on the red carpet. He was doing uh, hosting for McAfee as oh. well. He was camouflaging into Whoa. that background. Wow. I think to get away from the boyfriend, if you know what I mean. What are you talking about? Oh. He's like, He's like, kind of he won't see statement. me if I just put my head... Oh, come on, y'all, yeah. it's Monday, just relax. And then also Circa the Met, when um, Kim Kardashian wore that dress that looked like she took a, the curtains and made a dress yes. out of it. Wow. Yes, yes, I mean, look wow. at him there. Wow. Don't you like good. it? Did you see him on the red carpet? I, I did see him on the red carpet. Um, I thought the look was very interesting, not per se something I would wear, but yeah. um, I think he, certainly he a statement. statement. It's a statement. Yeah. 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 That's just a few, but we'll tune in to tomorrow and we'll actually go through All the full best dress. Yeah. Yeah. Best yeah. dress, yeah. worst dress, okay. and such just other things. Snippet. All right, snippet. ladies, uh, it's time for <laughs> us to start this show on a Monday morning. Let's roll the camera, let's go! Ow! <laughs> With your Monday morning, let's start off with taking a look at uh, the biggest news stories uh, for your Monday morning. President Cyril Maposa met with King Swati III yesterday to hold talks on bilateral, regional and continental issues. South Africa is Espertini's largest training partner with the more than 30 billion rand in trading being completed in the last two years between them. And the traditional and Khoisan leadership bill is now expected to be signed into law by President Cyril Maposa. One of its objectives is to protect and uh, promote the institutions of traditional and Khoisan leadership. Making international news headlines this morning, the UN Humanitarian Affairs Chief Mark Lowcock yesterday released $10 million as a contribution to an urgent appeal by Zimbabwean authorities that $234 million is urgently needed for more than 5 million people in need of aid. And a Judiciary Committee of the U.S. House of Representatives is seeking documents alleging obstruction of justice, corruption and abuse of power by President Donald Trump and his aides. Sixty individuals and entities would be receiving subpoenas from today. 
And finally, huge crowds gathered in the Alaskan city of Anchorage this weekend to celebrate the ceremonial start of the toughest race on earth, the 47th Iditarod Trail Sledge Dog Race. The 1,600-kilometer race is from Willow, a small community north of Anchorage, to Noman on Alaska's western coast. 52 dog teams will take part, crossing two mountain ranges, the frozen Yukon River and ocean ice on the Bering Sea coast. Each team consists of 16 Alaskan Huskies, Rules state that five must remain when they cross the finish line. So for the next nine to ten days, all eyes will be on the extremely brave and fiercely loyal Huskies doing what they love best, taming the merciless Alaskan wilderness at full pace. And with that story, we leave you news headlines. We will expand on those stories at the top of the hour. I think just about all of those superlatives can be applied to Captain Fantastic. Protest Captain Fluff Duplessis was unbeaten on 112 as South Africa cruised to an eight-wicket victory over Sri Lanka in the opening day um, of their ODI series in Johannesburg. They reached the target of 231 with more than 11 overs to spare. Duplessis praised veteran leg spinner Imran Tahir. Now, without a CSA contract, prospect saying he has been probably his biggest weapon as a captain over the years. Then on to rugby, the USA claimed a 29-10 victory over the Blitzbox in the Las Vegas 7th Cup quarter final in the early hours of Sunday morning. Um, earlier on the second day, the Blitzbox delivered a commanding 29-12 win over England in the final match of their pool um, group. But the Blitzbox met rivals Fiji in that fifth place semi-finals and the Fijians compounded the Blitzbox, holding out for a, their misery, holding out for a 14-12 win. The USA do retain their title in Las Vegas with pretty emphatic 27-0 victory over Samoa in the Cup final to go out and out top of the log. Then we move on to a bumper weekend in Super Rugby. The Stormers beat the Sharks 16-11 in Durban. Evan Etzebeth bossing the physical challenges. And as the Bulls beat the Lions 30-12 in Johannesburg fly-off and standing captain Andre Pollard plundering 20 points with his boot, taking a season tally to 52 from three matches. And that's where we leave our sport for now. Oh, thank you, Graham. Well, time for us to take a look at what to expect in your temperatures for today. We also want to say thank you to Sanele, who sent us this beautiful blue skyline from Pretoria, where today you can expect northwesterly winds as well as a maximum of 32 degrees Celsius. But on that note, let's look at the rest of the temperatures, starting off in Polokwane, a low of 19 with a high of 29, Mbombela 21, reaching a high of 29 Partly cloudy conditions in Pretoria with a high of 32. Johannesburg 17 reaching a high of 31. If you're in Mahiking, 1836 can be expected. Klagsdorp 1735. Kimberley 1635. Bloemfontein 13 with a high of 34. Partly cloudy conditions in Richards Bay, a high of 33. Peter Maritzburg 17 reaching a high of 32. It's partly cloudy in Durban with a high of 30. Mtata 13 reaching a high of 29. East London 19, 26. Craddock 12 reaching a high of 33. Port Elizabeth 18 reaching a high of 25. Partly cloudy in George with a low of 16, a high of 25. Sutherland 10 reaching a high of 25. If you're in Cape Town, a low of 16 with a high of 22 can be expected. Worcester 14, 28. Springbok 15, 28. And Uppington 18, reaching a high of 34 degrees Celsius. Well, that's your weather for this morning. We'll touch again on those temperatures at 7 o'clock. Well, after a highly charged up weekend on the sporting field, we'll bring you all the highlights and uh, the top scores from this past weekend with Ashbat Mohammed. Hope you're ready for that. Absolutely. And it's also Motivational Monday. We bring you a, our Mandela Monday Hero. We take a look at how top and local skateboarders empower the youth because they've got so much to part with in terms of knowledge and experience in their own respective fields as well. And that can be applied in your own life as well. We'll take a look at that inspirational story after the break. Stick around. The only motivation I need right now is Princess is a cup of your yes. best breath. Grind, please <laughs> indulge me. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Enjoy a moment in between with Mac Cafe. See you after the break. anticipated weekend is finally upon us it is the eve of the biggest night in south african film and television and once again into the scepter awards nominated three times like last year what are you enjoying most about this event here tonight i'm really enjoying meeting the legend to who when we are and why 
but Imran just created a very open rapport of communication. Always in my mind, always in my heart, always the one that waits for me in my dreams. You are always the one I long for, always the one I feel by my side, even though you're. Tide, you're my moon, you always pull me back to you And I lay my arms gently over your shoulders and, and when morning breaks and your reflection fades How I long to hide with you among the fading stars Cause you are always in my mind Welcome back to it, your Feel Good Breakfast Show, live right here on ABC3. Thank you so much for choosing to wake up with us and starting the week off with us uh, right here on your Feel Good Breakfast Show, Expresso. So, we know that it's the start of a brand new week, and the start of a brand new week means we can all do with a bit of Monday motivation to kickstart the week and get us going. So, here we go. Let's check out some of your comments that have come through on Facebook. Here's one from Donne F. Henry, who says, Morning all, be authentically you in everything you do, and always look on the bright side of life. It's Monday. Yeah, yeah, man. Here's another one from Ricardo Camper saying, Morning, my motivation is the fact that day by day, inch by inch, I'm getting closer to my goals. Never stop. Always forward. Always pushing forward and going for that goal. Here's one from Yulan Nicolano saying, Good morning, Expresso family. Hashtag Monday motivation is to love and do your best. Here's a final one uh, from uh, Teresa saying, Morning, Expresso family. Give a smile to everyone that you can see, uh, that you can every day and show the love. Why don't you share with us what your hashtag Monday motivation message is using the Expresso show hashtag. Well, it was a weekend filled with sporting action all across the world, man. Oh, you could just feast your eyes on all of it. So we're going to give you a breakdown of what we thought was uh, some of the best that you could see. And of course, our friend in sport, our expert. How's it going? Uh, Look at that glow. Look at that, <laughs> that, that, that oh Monday my morning word. glow, Sleep, buddy. Ah. Oh, sport, lot of sport. Ah. <laughs> Tough life, man. <laughs> Tough job. So obviously Spurs and Arsenal sharing the spoil. So we're okay, talking to each cool. other. So we'll take it. Perfect I think we took points of view, eh? to be quite honest. But <laughs> let's start right at the very beginning. Faf du Plessis, Titanic. 112 unbeaten as um, the Proteas jumped to an eight wicket victory. They did it in style, they did yeah. it in, in ease. Uh, I said on Friday they had a point to prove after losing Ooh. the Test Series, and they really did it, you know. And there's no care making his debut, but in some really quick deliveries here over 145. Mm. Um, Lungin Gidi back in the national team, taking a few wickets. And of course, Captain Fantastic Faf, another 100, I think it was his 11th ODI 100. And uh, Rassi van der Dissen finishing, uh, finishing it off well. Uh, uh, yeah, end. he's got a lot of maturity yeah, for a young age. Yeah, yeah. Time at the crease, time on the ball, you know. Yeah. He just seems so unflustered. 
And that's what the protests have needed uh, for a while. How difficult is a selector's job now leading up to the World Ugh, Cup with all these performances coming in, and Ed Markram also uh, yeah. in the domestic? Uh, yeah, how awesome is that? He's yeah. <laughs> scored a second hundred, I think, in three days now for the yeah. Titans. So he's putting his hand up. His guys coming back from injury, like JP Dumini. So Hashim Amla's at the Cobras now, trying to find some form. It's a really tough job. So, you know, do you pick on reputation or do you pick guys on form? I would say form, but you know, sometimes it's right around the corner yeah. now. We've got like yeah. a, you know, a month and counting. So, yeah. um, every every joke that ever applied to Vegas applies to the, the Blitz <laughs> right now. What, what, what happened in Vegas this weekend? Should have stayed, <laughs> stayed in Vegas. Should have stayed in Vegas. Um, okay, at least they beat England, eh? At least they did. Yeah, we might have jinxed them in that process. Wow. Oh, we decided that we, we did beat in the final group game, but. Blown away by yeah. USA. They blew everyone away. Yes, including USA, Zoe in the final. Yeah, and they beat New Zealand also in the semi yeah, after being 12 0 down. So that shows that the American team really mean business now. Their first tournament win of the in the fifth final this season. So that shows uh, the growth in their side. But yeah, plus box, a lot of youngsters, as we said previously. So hopefully they'll be the better team for it. Yeah, and of course, uh, over the Super Rugby weekend, um, this past weekend, yes. was a clash of the Northern Years, yes. if you will. Yeah, the like man handles the shocks, eh? Yeah. Almost like man alone. You, you guys sound like you, you, you lit a fire to him. Yeah. Just no, no, we did on Friday. We <laughs> said, I'm, if Stormers have any chance, uh, Eben needs to put his I foot mean, down. I mean, Peter Stiff, man, match was amazing, but yeah. I, I would imagine, but that, and I say this with all due respect, because they're about nine times the size of me, but I have a <laughs> feeling that the whole Sharks pack just sitting there after yeah. this match, but it looked like he was carrying the entire no, team, no, he was, he both was. teams, on his shoulders at, at certain times. Man. Really inspirational performance. I mean, considering the game plan was just kick, kick, and kick some more. And so once they were in the shocks off, even then the boys really rocked them up and, and that sort of decided that game. Also, the Bulls, fantastic win over the Lions, you know. At Ellis Park, they really played the top game. Andre Pollard, superb, Dwayne Vermeulen, Skalk Brits, all these guys. So How happy well must the Bulls, um, eh? Rassi right now. Yeah, he's got such win, a lot yeah. to choose from. Eh? <laughs> so again, World Cup year to choose that final, I think, 31-man squad is going to be a tough, tough job. Can we play some of the Man United goals just for Ash? Please, man. Oh, oh, man. man. Do, we have, like do we have to? Do we have to? The sixth team <laughs> in the Premier League, you know, they win six games, they still stayed six. Now they're fourth. Can you believe a Champions League spot coming from behind against Southampton? Uh, uh, Southampton really came came for the that for Pereira's this game. goal. Look at oh that. goodness! Look at that, Top bin. The Classic. best thing was looking at Shaw's face as he was like, "Why aren't you passing?" That's why you're not passing the ball to me. It was an absolute howler. Just man. a word for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. The way those guys inspired this team from where they were down in the dumps, called the team that parks the bus under Mourinho. I mean, they can't stop winning almost, you know, and and. Coming from behind and, and scoring typical United goals, just fantastic. Yes, no, well, not, oh, listen to him, like typical no, United goals. I had to, I had to give you the judge, sorry, oh, Morris, they're obviously scoring the one yeah. and only goal um, for Man City, but Pep yeah. calling that one of their best performances in yeah. the light of everything, and I think the pressure now on the team that plays two, i.e. Liverpool, yes. every weekend. <laughs> After what happened um, yesterday, you know, Merseyside, um, you expected them to beat Everton, and they had opportunities. It was Mohamed a derby, man. Also, it was a derby. But, you know, Everything dog, gets cancelled. Yeah, up. exactly. So, clock feeling the pressure after saying it's not PlayStation this uh, <laughs> Premier League because he was criticised for not pushing a bit more, taking a uh, bring on Adam Lalana as a midfielder late on in the game. Yeah, yeah. everything is. Every, everything, everything is, is FIFA. It's, everything it's FIFA. Is FIFA. Anyway, uh, those are some of our, our sporting <laughs> highlights from the weekend. Let us know what you enjoyed most and give us your comments on social media. Hashtag Express the Show. Thank you very much, Ash. Cheers. Well, Phil, to come on your Feel Good Breakfast show right here on SABC3. It's Monday, so we need to highlight a local champion doing incredible things. This time, a local skateboarder is inspiring the youth and becoming a Mandela Monday hero. Oh, exciting things. And then, of course, we're also going to get to know the award-winning singer, songwriter and producer, Francois Clark, a little bit better. He's our performer for today. So, of course, don't go anywhere. That's coming up after the break. I'm, I'm the tide, you're my moon You always pull me back to you And I'll lay my arms in the over your shoulders and, and when morning breaks And your reflection fades I will long to hide with you Among the fading stars Cause you are always in my mind you 
Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. It's Expresso right here on SABC3. Now, it's always a highlight reading through all of your comments on social media and seeing your feedback. And uh, here are a few that we've loved and we thought we really wanted to highlight and, of course, just show you again. That's right. Well, last week it was National Milk Tart Day and we had some of our viewers share with us their thoughts. And last week, that was last week, Wednesday. So, Carol Hendricks, she says her family loves milk tart. So, she mm. baked them two mm. special mm. ones and she says she really loves uh, uh, she really looks like a, a master baker. So take oh, a look wow. at that. I love, I love it. it. Yum. How caramelized they look on Yum. the top there. Looks Lucky so family good. to have mom to bake and that. That wooden board oh. really makes it look homemade. And it yeah. looks so yeah. puffy and delicious. Yeah. yeah. There we go. And also, you remember last Thursday we had the Vonerkeners um, in our studio performing. Lovely, talented piano prodigies. And we, we asked you to share some interesting talents that you might have out there. So uh, we got a message from Jaslyn or Janice Lynn Oliver France who shared this picture of her daughter Tiffany. Now Tiffany's 13 years old and she's an excellent acrobatic oh, dancer and wow. athlete and makes her mom super proud. Look at that. Beautiful. Yes. Supple so muscles. Yes. Just Oh, girl. Well, we certainly have some talented kids that watch the show because Milani Bredenkamp also shared a photo of her son, Brad Sio, who loves cross-country running. And he is currently ranked second in South Africa Whoa. in the under-12 age category. Wow. So, well done, nice. Brad Sio. Remember that name. My goodness. Talented. Okay, fantastic stuff. Then also, uh, David Gummers shared uh, this wonderful video of Bianca Solomons from Stickland in Cape Town, whose voice will give you goosebumps. Amazing. Pick up my job. 
from the wow. floor. I'm like staring at the screen. I'm like, uh, I feel like that's somebody that we need to have on our feel good breakfast right? show yes. so that we can get like the, you know, full on performance. That was amazing. Thank you so sure. much. Awesome. Now you can see why we love it the way we do. So thank you so much for always sending in these incredible social media messages, mm. your photos, your messages, your videos. We see them all. We really appreciate them. And of course, this is why we showcase them right here on your feel good breakfast show. It was a little emotional. That was amazing. The talent that this country has, we, we, we absolutely love it. And I think yeah. the reason why we need Monday motivation is because it's a Monday. We need a little extra juice to be positive on a day yeah. like today. So um, that in mind, when we heard that Woolworths were kickstarting their Water Month campaign with something very simple, very simple goal, but very powerful, we knew we had to get on board. Absolutely. But this has got to do with uh, a group of young people out in Mitchell's Plain who have decided to start a skateboarding in initiative, right? I love it. They met a couple of years ago. They became friends. They bought transcended race background gender it didn't matter one day they saw gang signs at the skateboarding park and decided they had to do something about it and that's why they are today's Mandela Monday heroes 20 skate is a collective of 25 skateboarders representing over 20 communities in Cape Town that have been skateboarding together for the past 15 years uh, our objective basically is to occupy the 20 skate parks that the city of Cape Town has built, which is a public facility in sports and recreation. Because there is no program implemented in this public spaces built by the city, it encourages loiterers to occupy the space and it chases our children away because the space is unpoliced. We're trying to reclaim these spaces and make it safe spaces that it was intended to be by the city, you know, so that's our main objective. These friends also run EduSkate, a free after-school youth development program at three public skate parks from Woodstock to Strandfontein with 65 students in total. The principles of what we're trying to teach is young kids at EduSkate is power through partnership and being there for each other, you know, the power within unity. We see the, the problem of bullying is and how the children belittle each other instead of empowering each other in communities at the end of the day, you know. Through providing them with opportunities and resources, we hope to teach them social and life skills. The focus one needs when you're on your skateboard, you know, like, you need to focus so much and be so attentive that you literally can't focus on anything else. So, you know, it assists a lot with mental health issues as well. To just to see the kids um, happy and to see them safe, to make sure that they have a place to be other than walking around in the streets, that is big, big change in the community. And lots of these kids are skillful, talented, I think this is the best thing that could ever happen to the Woodstock community and the skaters. Some of the kids, they come from rough circumstances where they don't know or they aren't learned discipline in the home. But with coming to Eddie Skate classes, they learn discipline every single day with every single class. I enjoy skating and sometimes it keeps me out of trouble. And it teaches me discipline. Skateboarding taught me to not let the cheetah let other people fall and to help them. Um, skateboarding powered me, like, it kept me out of trouble. Like, you know, I help other kids who I can, and if it wasn't for skateboarding, I'll probably stand on corners and be in, in trouble, you know. Twinning skate has done a lot for me, you know. Bad times when uh, you have issues at home, then Shoaib is always the one helping me, you know. And, uh, like we know each other long, so we have an, a tight bond, all of us. So the kids' reaction to this program at first was very challenging, but now it's very easy and they are also learning teamwork, trust one another, um, how to work with each other, how to share. So this program is actually providing a lot of that discipline for them, you know, and just helping them also to see the bigger picture with each other, share. Sharing skating. My recent achievement would be this year with 20 skate at Joburg Contest Dala the City, where we placed first. It opened a lot of doors for me. Also gave me a lot of confidence in believing in myself and also knowing that if I believe I can achieve, you know, and that's all we're just trying to paint in everybody's minds that just believe it. Um, 20 skate has helped me a lot. I, I remember getting into 20 skate when I was 12 years old. 
Yeah, and then, like, I've met so much different people through through 20 Skate. I respect you a lot because he's helped me. Like, no one has helped me so much as that guy. How we plan to grow this initiative is by making it sustainable. We want the development sector not to be profitable, but to have as much impact in our communities as possible and impact as much youth lives as possible in the right direction. The goal is to deploy a coach to all 20 skate parks in town, reach 67 schools, and they plan to manufacture and sell boards to make it happen. If you can help, you'll find 20 Skate online. Well, so to come on your Feel Good Breakfast show, we're going to be talking about an exclusive beach party just for South African celebs at the 13th Safters. Because what do you do before a big award ceremony? You need to chill. And they made sure they got those celebs to chill in a big way. That's right. And can we give him a warm espresso welcome? Francois Clark on your Feel Good Breakfast show. He's performing for us pretty soon. So don't go anywhere. We'll see you after the break. weekend is finally upon us. It is the eve of I think very often in the industry we set ourselves in little factions and categories of who can a drink while of course enjoying the rest of the evening. Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. It's a Monday morning. We are live, large, and in charge, and doing things so good. I cannot tell you how excited I am right now to be sitting next to this man whom I've known since we were yay high. <laughs> He's super talented, super amazing. What an awesome human being. And I can't wait for you to hear him performing live on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. Let's give it up, ladies and gentlemen. Africa Bora, Francois Clark is in the studio. Yes, neighbors, <laughs> celebrate, celebrate. It's taken us a while. Thank, Thank you. you very much, this Princess. Dude, mm -hmm. welcome. Uh, welcome to, to our Feel Good Breakfast Show, but mostly welcome back home. It is so nice to be back. Dude, um, how's, how's your trip been? I know that you always look forward to getting back to South Africa because you, you now live in Canada, but how's your trip been so far? It's been amazing. Uh, yeah. I spent the past two days in Cape Town, yeah. and as always, my highlight to come to Cape Town. Every trip, there's always some Cape Town in there. Yeah. It's still my favorite city in the world. Yeah, dude, yeah. It, it certainly <laughs> is a beautiful one. But for those that don't know your backstory like I do, I mean, we were in the Northwest Children's Choir together, and already from then, I think anybody who had ever heard you sing knew that there was something big waiting for you in the future. Tell us about your, your history and background in music. Um, well, I started with you yeah. <laughs> in choir. That's where it all started. Uh, and then uh, from there, um, first went to uh, Deepaka. Yeah and studied graphic design for two years, and then the opportunity came up for me to go study music at uh, Humber College in Toronto, Canada, and uh, kind of just went there, one of the best decisions that I've ever made, and uh, the whole world of music just kind of opened up, and it's also, you know, it's really nice to be in Toronto because it's so close to the States, it's yeah, close to yeah. um, all of South America and Europe, so it's easy to kind of go around, and because of that, I've been really, really lucky to be able to play a little bit, you know, not the biggest shows in the world, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. you know, kind of just starting to play um, in, uh, you know, a little bit in Europe, a little bit in Canada, yeah, yeah. 
don't ever tour in Canada. It's so big and everything is frozen <laughs> and you just travel <laughs> for days. <laughs> but of course, I'm, I'm sure you've encountered your fair share of challenges as well. What's kept you in the game, just, cu just doing it constantly? You know, when you watch your YouTube channel, you see those videos of you sitting down, writing songs, working songs, working, workshopping yeah. songs. What's kept you in it? Um, I think uh, like just 100% the love for making music, but yeah. then being able to make music with other people. Like I think at the moment that you step into a studio with a producer that you love, or um, I've not really had the chance to work with many songwriters. There's a few songwriters that I've worked with. Uh, this is girl Salia Pali mm -hmm. uh, from Catalonia in Spain that yeah. I've worked with a little bit. Um, but I think sharing music and being able to create music together, and you know, like now you, you and I had a chance to work on one track together yeah, a little yeah. bit. Um, that's definitely something that keeps me going. And just listening to other artists that I absolutely love. Yeah. That kind of keeps me going as well. Well, I tell you what, I think you're going to inspire a lot of young artists watching on this Monday morning. Make sure that you do not miss out on live performances from Francois Clark on this Monday morning on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. One more time, Africa Bora, <laughs> give it up. Francois Clark is in the studio. <laughs> Now, this past weekend saw the 13th edition of the biggest awards night in South African film and television industry, the SAFTAs. And as a nominee, what do you do before such a big night? Well, you ease the nerves by attending McAfee's VIP beach party on the shores of Sun City's Valley of the Waves. The much-anticipated weekend is finally upon us. It is the eve of the biggest night in South African film and television. And once again, McAfee are throwing an exclusive beach party right here at the Valley of the Waves in Sun City for all the SAFTA nominees. And yes, I'm excited to mingle with all our favorite stars. So on that note, let's go do exactly that. The annual South African Film and Television Awards are where our brightest stars are honored for their work in the industry. And to celebrate, McCafe have thrown the ultimate VRP experience beach party. And who better to host than the dazzling socialite Somizi Mplongo. So, Mizi, the big night is almost here. Just a couple of more hours to the 13th annual SAFTA Awards. Now, McAfee is throwing a wonderful beach party for all the nominees. Why would you say that a night like this is so important ahead of the awards? Work hard, play hard, right? I always tell, especially the nominees and, and the people that have worked hard to get to this point, that it's important to be in the moment and enjoy yourself. Um, don't stress about if you're going to win, what you're going to wear. Everything from now on should be in the moment. You've been in the industry for a number of decades now, so Mizi, I must ask you, do you still get starstruck? And if so, by who? No one. No one whatsoever? No. Um, starstruck, no. Excited, maybe. Anyone who knows me, they'll, know, they'll tell you that I'm not the type that would even ask for pictures. For me, it's the memory and the honor of being in the company of greatness. So for me, it's more about the honor than being starstruck. I'm going to put you on the spot a little bit and ask you which category are you looking most forward to tomorrow night? I'm looking forward to Best Supporting Actor and also Best Actor as well, which I'm hoping Warren wins something again because he's been winning for the past three years and I want him to break a record. Warren, you know stranger to the SAFTA Awards, nominated three times like last year. What are you enjoying most about this event here tonight? I'm really enjoying meeting the legends because they never get to smell their flowers while they're still alive. And we also get hyped on some people, you know, celebrate us and, and we forget where we got it from. So I'm really enjoying meeting the legends. I'm enjoying meeting the directors so that we can debate on how to better direct the screenplay or the storytelling on our South African TVs. Which category are you looking most forward to being announced? I'm looking forward to grabbing three awards. I'm nominated for three like last year, and it will be history if I win two more awards that I've won before. <laughs> Mutlats, you've been part of the Isidungo family for about 10 years now, and you guys are nominated yet again for the SAFTAs. How are you feeling? Um, I think I'm very excited. I'm very happy for, for the show. I mean, Isidungo is, is that type of show that, that develops a lot of, of creatives, directors, actors, and, and, and it's great to be nominated and be recognized for, for the work done. What are you enjoying most about tonight? This kind of event is so necessary to to broaden the horizon of the industry because sometimes people get locked up in their offices and, 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 and spaces, but then the industry wants 
everybody to mingle, wants everybody to, to understand that people are ready to, to share ideas. So thank you to the Safters for this. This is where we get to share ideas. This is where we get to see where we are as an industry, uh, talk about the challenges we have, and more importantly, the solutions to our challenges. It's important because as artists, life is hard. So every now and then it's nice to just like let our hair go, take it easy and celebrate the fact that we have many talented artists in this country. We need to celebrate and acknowledge the people who have made or in fact paved ways for us. So today we're here to celebrate such. What I really appreciate is that there is no hierarchy. I think very often in the industry, we set ourselves in little factions and categories of who can relate to who, when, where, and why. But everyone just created a very open rapport of communication, fun, and pure enjoyment. It's amazing. Hot food, cold drinks, and the best in the biz. The Mia Cafe Beach Party was the ultimate hangout where our brightest stars took a moment to unwind before their big night. Man, what a vibe tonight has been seeing all these beautiful stars under one sky. And of course, celebrating the creme de la creme of the film and television industry. Tomorrow is another big night, but for now, it's time to enjoy a drink while of course enjoying the rest of the evening. Um, awesome stuff, so congratulations to all of the big winners. Um, and speaking of winning, of course, um, Ewan has been lauding his S10 He's over us. It, it is so beautiful. <laughs> um, but uh, we are obviously letting you know that you can be among the first with Dion White to get your hands on the exclusive Samsung S10. It really is awesome. You've got to pre-order the phone now at dionwide.co.za. And this includes a Samsung original accessory voucher and Galaxy Buds, which everyone is raving about, valued at 3,500 Rand, plus a free JBL Bluetooth speaker and free mini car charger you are sorted you are absolutely sorted mm. because the exclusive Dion wide pre-order deal of the Samsung s10 it also includes free Samsung care valid for two years which consists of two front screen back glass and battery replacements repairs in store at Dion wired free device healthcare di diagnostics and software upgrade and the total bundle saving is worth 6100 Rand pre-ordered now from 15,599 rand. And you want to protect the back. The back almost looks as good as the front. Yeah, <laughs> it's don't absolutely awesome. The whole um, so get onto dionwide.co.za, go and find it out for yourself. Check out this deal. Make sure you get in on the act right now for your own brand new Samsung Galaxy S10. It's so beautiful. <laughs> Wow. Sweet sounds coming your way. Make sure you stay tuned for a live performance from Francois Clark after this break. It's going to be incredible. And while we're enjoying that beautiful piece of music, also after the break, we're going to take a look, uh, a closer look at the brand new Samsung S10's camera capabilities and also its video capability, which is going to blow your mind. We want a video of this. Like this. Yes. Oh, dude, slow mo. <laughs> Stick we'll around. the break. Okay. I've been playing hide and go seek with a heart that longs to be in the arms of another lover. And I've been running from my shadow like a wayward arrow. I'm the tide, you're my moon. You always pull me back to you. In my mind, always in my heart. Is the basic you might be his guy? Yeah, yeah, okay. Always the one that waits for me in my dreams. You are always the one I want for. Yes. It's my feel good birthday show. Happy birthday, a very happy birthday to you. To you and to you.
you and to you, everyone celebrating your birthday. We love you. It's that time of the day where we wish a lot of people a very happy birthday. Um, and hopefully your name has made it onto the list. What you got for us? Yeah, Evis, who's I, up first? I wish we can run through every single birthday. Love Madam, but, but it does seem that the 4th of March is a very special May day. The because there is with a, you. Yeah. The 4th is going to be <laughs> definitely with you. So we start off with Rishka Isaacs, who's celebrating her 16th birthday. Look at that, full of sass. A uh, special message from her parents, who says, May you continue to make us proud as parents and may Allah always guide and protect you always. I love that. Thank you very much. And then we have another one um, from, uh, this is Anthea Philander, also celebrating her birthday today. May you have a wonderful birthday and have many, many more. Anthea Philander, happy 4th of March birthday. Happy birthday. Well, Mia Amber turns nine and may your forever sparkle and shine Aww. like a star that you Aww. are. That's a very special happy birthday wish from your mommy, Tanya, and your loving brother, Tyler. And then, so sweet. Yes, and of course, I would also like to wish, uh, this is a special message that says, our precious baby girl, Elika Jeslin, a happy eighth birthday for Aww. today. And that's with much love from your mom, your dad, and your sister, Zoe. And of course, me from Express. <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday. Well, here's another one. Selena's family would like to wish her a happy oh, birthday with this special message today. They say, may the almighty Allah grant you, or grant you many more. We love you, our beautiful, clever, caring, and loving little girl. Sweet. And mm. another one, it's Skylo de Cocker is celebrating finally uh, being in the double digits. Oh. Happy 10th hey. That's from Mummy, Grandma, and Grandpa. Happy birthday, Skylo. Beautiful. Guys, I need your help here. It's a, I, I don't want to. It's such a special day for Nish. Nishé? Nishé. Nish. We're going to Nishé. Nishé. Look how beautiful Nishé is. And she is turning three today. And her mother hey. wants to send her a very special special shout out. Happy birthday to my one and only princess. May your day be blessed. And then uh, it's a very happy birthday to my here, Davids. May you have many, many more. That comes from Nadia. That's it. Yeah, happy birthday, Let's buddy. continue. We have, a, we have a couple more there. Uh, there's this very special message. This one, a uh, special shout out for Nikki B on her birthday, who says, stay as sweet and lovely as you are. Have a blessed and wonderful day. Lots of love from Daddy, Mommy, Auntie Nell, Omar, and all your cousins as Aww. well. Mm. Happy birthday, Nikki. And also a very happy birthday to Alana Albertain, who's also celebrating her birthday. And Amy Jones. Oh, oh, uh, Amy, one of Amy. Uh, Yeah. Amy, well, Amy. Amy Jones. Look yeah. at that. Amy, Amy. Amy. Yeah, is one of our favorite performers. Performers on the show as well. She is brilliant. Amy, have yourself a beautiful birthday. Mm. Happy birthday, birthday, guys. If you want us to send you a very special message, give you a shout out, then send us your birthday messages and, of course, an awesome photo to birthdays at cordova.tv. Well, let's celebrate this very special day with you sharing music with Francois Clark from his latest offering called Love. Here's a song called Always.
In your news this morning, President Cyril Ramaphosa met with King Mswati III yesterday to hold talks on bilateral, regional and continental issues. South Africa is Eswatini's largest trading partners, with more than 30 billion rand in trade being completed in the last two years between them. The traditional and Khoisan leadership bill is now expected to be signed into law by President Cyril Ramaphosa. One of its objectives is to protect and promote the institutions of traditional and Khoisan leadership. On the international front, the UN Humanitarian Affairs Chief Mark Lalcock yesterday released $10 million as a contribution to an urgent appeal by Zimbabwean authorities that $234 million is urgently needed for more than 5 million people in need of aid. A Judiciary Committee of the U.S. House of Representatives is seeking documents alleging obstruction of justice, corruption and abuse of power by President Donald Trump as his aides, 60 individuals and entities would be receiving subpoenas from today. And then finally, Roundtable Southern Africa recently joined efforts to raise over 100,000 rand for Endangered Wildlife Trust's Carnival Conservation Program. Barberton 67, a club in the Mpumalanga area, teamed up with Relate Bracelets, a 100% not-for-profit social enterprise, to create a bracelet aimed at raising funds for this purpose. Tammy Baker, the Trust's business development manager, said the Trust was overjoyed by Roundtable's fundraising efforts. She said locally carnivores have borne the brunt of poaching, can hunting and shrinking habitats, particularly the African wild dog, to which parts of South Africa is home. So come on folks, let's show our solidarity with our beautiful carnivores and buy and wear the bracelets. Well that was your 7 o'clock news update. Here's another look at what's happening in the world of sport with Graham. Now trying to rotate through more of our headlining sport this morning after a bumper weekend in Super Rugby. The Stormers beat the Sharks 16-11 in Durban, Yemen, Etzebeth bossing the physical exchanges. And as the Bulls beat the Lions 30-12 in Johannesburg, fly-off and standing captain Andre Pollard plundered 20 points with his boot, taking his season, uh, season tally to 52 from three matches already. Then in the world of football in the Premier League, as Man City returned to the top of the Premier League table with a one win at Bournemouth, the London derby between Tottenham and Arsenal ended one apiece and in Merseyside, Everton held off Liverpool for a 0-0 draw, then yielding multiple contenders for goal of the season. Manchester United made up ground with a 3-2 comeback win over Southampton that moved them above Arsenal into fourth place. And then locally, more football on offers. Cape Town City denied Bidvest Wits the full three points when they claimed a dramatic 3-2 win on Saturday, completed by a stunning Riyad Norodin free kick. Elsewhere, Orlando Pirates secured a 1-0 league win over Golden Arrows to move within a single point of league leaders Mama Lodi Sundance will continue to track those headlines as we progress. Thank you, G. Let's take a look at your roads this morning. We start off in Gauteng and Deepkloof, where there has been an accident on the N1 northbound. That's after the N17 turnoff. The left lane is currently obstructed and causing delays. And still in Gauteng, in Pretoria, in Atridgeville, there are roadblocks due to community protest action affecting all entry points of Atridgeville and Lotus Gardens. Please make use of an alternative route this morning. And after the trains in the southern line, there is an extended travel time of 20 to 30 minutes on the Simons Town line. This is due to a defective pedestrian gate at Musenberg, speed restrictions as well as sets out of service and faulty level crossing booms at Kenilworth. Your next report will be at 7.30. Don't fear the flu. Boost your immune system with Everflu C Immune Booster by Pharma Dynamics. Effective, affordable healthcare. Three minutes after seven, let's quickly take a look at your weather and your temperatures going into your Monday morning. First and foremost, we'd like to thank you for all your pictures. Thank you very much for sharing them with us. We got a picture this morning from Dobson, Alan John, who sent us this amazing skyline from Trafalgar, where you can expect partly cloudy conditions with rather humid uh, conditions and also warmer temperatures reaching a maximum of 27 degrees. It looks stunning, Dobson, Alan. Thank you very, very much for your picture. Have yourself a beautiful day and a blessed week ahead as well. Please continue sharing those pictures. We'd love to see what 
it looks like in your parts of the world, you can post them on our Express the Morning Show SABC3 Facebook page. Now, your temperatures going into your Monday. Paul Aquan is starting off on 19, reaching a maximum of 29 degrees. Mombela, 21, also 29. Pretoria, 1832. Johannesburg, 1731. Maikeng, 18 and a scorcher today, 36 degrees maximum. Klaxdorp, also very hot, 1735. Kimberley, 1635. Bloemfontein on 13 minimum, warming up to 34 degrees late on today. Richards Bay, 22, 33. Peter Marisburg, 17, 32. Durban, 23, reaching a high of 30. Ntata, 13, 29. East London, 19, 26. Craddock, 12 minimum this morning, your maximum 33. Port Elizabeth, 18.25. George, 16.25 with a chance of rain today. Sutherland, 10.25. Cape Town, 16.22 and also some showers forecast. Worcester, 14.28. Springbok, 15.28. And Uppington starting off on 18 minimum, reaching a high of 34 degrees. As a wrap of your weather and your temperatures for the 7 o'clock bulletin, we'll have another update for you in a half an hour's time. Book flights from 499 Rand, only on travelstart.co.za. Are you done daydreaming about some of the most beautiful destinations the world has to offer? Well, then get ready to start traveling because it's time to make your travel dreams come true with the Travel Start Dream Week sale happening from today to Friday, the 8th of March this week. So set the date and get ready to sail or the, for the sale by claiming your vouchers on travelstart.co.za. That's right. And you know what? What's quite exciting is that the Travel Start Dream Week sale, it features dozens of experiences exclusive flight specials and it's to your favorite destinations with great domestic and international deals during one of the most anticipated flight sales of the year. So visit travelstart.co.za to book your flight now and if you book on Flap, the Travel Start app, for the duration of the sale, you get even bigger discounts. Book flights from 499 Rand, only on travelstart.co.za. Alrighty, family. So we hope you're getting that feel good in on a Monday right here on your feel good breakfast show express. So we're taking a quick break. After the break, we're giving you all the features that load down on the new Samsung S10 Galaxy. We're unboxing, baby. Wow. Unboxing. The camera and the video functionality. I was actually out at Ultra on Friday and getting to see one person standing in front of me with the camera and the S10 phone in front of me. It felt like I was watching on a huge um, HD screen. It's incredible. You'll see it after the break. Oh, man, we're going to have a lot of fun with that then. I love some mints. I have to say, my girl <laughs> makes the best mints ever in the world. Oh, yeah. One of my favorite treats. Let's see how our basic mint stands up to that this morning. We're going to unbox this mint and then, then rebox it <laughs> inside ourselves. Um, but it's, we're going to have a lot of fun along the way as well. So if you're keen for a little mint this morning, stay tuned. <laughs> These four walls became a wall since the day you It's my feel-good breakfast show.
Welcome back. You're live with Express. So thank you so much for tuning in for this beautiful Monday morning. And I don't care how tough you are. Everyone needs a little Monday motivation, especially at the start of a brand new week. So when we learned that our friends at Woolworths were celebrating and kicking off their Water Month efforts with a very simple goal in mind to raise funds to provide sustainable sources of water to under-resourced schools, we knew we had to find out a little bit more. So as we celebrate Water Month, Peter Twine joins us this morning in the studio to chat about Woolworths and the My School, My Village, My Planet program, Passion for Conserving Water. Now, many schools throughout South Africa don't have sustainable access to water. And together with My School, Woolworths launched the Love H2O Water Fund to help address this issue. Now, with the primary goal to raise funds so that they can provide sustainable sources of water by installing rainwater tanks at under-resourced schools, especially in areas affected by the drought, and help educate learners about the importance of water conservation through the Woolworths Education Program. And Peter, it's always a pleasure to catch up with you and find out what great work you continue to do. Good morning, Katleho. Yes, it is fantastic, the journey that we're commencing. And although we've been on the water conservation education journey for many, many years, we've been working with Woolworths now, and especially our beverages department is buying our bottled water. There's a very key important aspect about working with the bottled water teams, mm -hmm. because they're about selling water, but they're also about giving back. Uh -huh. And we've linked up with them to actually focus on this project where we are able to provide the education and conser uh, conserving of water education in our schools yeah. uh, further in terms of providing this rainwater harvesting tanks with some filtration to actually ensure that the schools who do not have water mm -hmm. have sustainable water. It's, it, there's a number of schools where kids have to leave early or go home to go and fetch water because it's just not available at school. Yeah, and the impact of this and the potential impact is huge because this is a, a global issue, mm -hmm. conservation of water, scarce water resources. But the Love H2O Water Fund, where did that idea come from? Who sparked it? It was a combination from the beverages team mm -hmm. and the my school team. We've done uh, strategic funds before, and our focus is really about helping and getting our supporters involved, all of our Woolworths customers involved because people do want to make a difference and they all do want to make an impact. And by creating this as a key fund, people can now adopt the fund or support this fund and help put water into schools. And this has been going on now since March 2018, uh, going on uh, the year anniversary coming up. Uh, what has been implemented to date? Give us some stats and figures. We've done a number of schools already. We've done uh, three in KwaZulu-Natal. We've done some more in Port Elizabeth area, and we've done some in the Franzhoek area, mm -hmm. in the Western Cape. Yeah. And the plan is really to get 20 schools done by the end of June this year. Yeah. When you are able to do this as far as you have, how many people's lives are impacted by this? Do you have an estimation? You know, if you think about the number of schools that we impact, uh, we've looked at numbers holistically with the Woolworths Educational Program and the conservation of water, Probably in primary schools, about 190,000 learners. Wow. Uh, but if you think about the opportunity to impact just so many more, yeah. uh, it is a continuous focus. It's yeah. about helping each child to understand the importance of water. Yeah. What are some future projects that you plan on implementing with the fund? The, the key focus for us is to keep expanding yeah. and keep driving this focus and the message of conservation of water and to keep adding more and more schools. We will go into the Northern Cape as well. Mm -hmm. That's uh, one of the next provinces that we tackle. Big area to cover as well. It's a big area to cover. And it's not a natural area for us to be operating in because it is so vast. Yes. So it is a big opportunity, but also for us a key challenge. Yeah. And we just need more and more people to come on board with us to actually make this happen. Yeah, I wish that people could actually go out to these sites as I've been privileged enough to have traveled with you to a few of the My School, My Village, My Planet um, sites and different projects to actually see the impact that this has um, on a real human to human yeah. level. Also, I want to talk about the importance of involving or kind of linking up this kind of initiative to the Woolworths educational program in teaching learners about water conservation and why you think that's so important that you've done that. You know, at grassroots level, that's where you start shaping future behavior. And it's so critical at an early stage to really get this focus on conservation going. And uh, the project around the nutrition components with the edge of plant gardens. Yeah. It's about holistic health, being at active kids, well-fed, 
and having the resources available that will make them kids that grow up into the productive adults in the future. Well, I, I can tell you we are very proud of the work that you're doing and to be associated with it and to bring it to you know, millions uh, across South Africa and across the world through the medium of television. So thank you very much for making us a part of this journey as well. Our pleasure. Thanks. So if you are already a My School, My Village, My Planet supporter, you can help by supporting the Love H2O Water Fund by making it one of your beneficiaries. And if it, it won't cost you a single cent at all. And then every time that you shop, you swipe your card, a percentage of what you spend will be given to the fund on your behalf. And you have, if you have any Willie's card, you can link it to My School on their mobile app by calling them on 0860 100 445 or emailing cs at myschool.co.za. And if you don't have a Woolies card or a My School card, apply for your free My School card by downloading the mobile app. It's called My School or applying within the Woolworths store. Well, it is a Motivational Monday here on Expresso, and that's why we're getting you pumped for meal prep this week ahead. We're going to be showing you how to get a basic but still great mince recipe. And then later on, we're going to demonstrate just one of the ways, or many ways, that you can turn this mince mixture into a meal and many more meal suggestions to follow. I've never been so excited about mince. Anel Potgieter. <laughs> what are we doing exactly in this kitchen here? Because I was, the first thing I thought is, yes, okay, I understand the whole concept of prepping your meals at the start yes. of the week because it's a big thing now. Everyone's yes. doing it. It helps you stay in check with your diet if you've got that going on for yes. you. But mince? Yes, mince. So what we've got here today, we're going to show you how to make a basic mince recipe. Yeah. And there it is. Okay. And then what we'll ask you to do is on Sundays, make your basic mince, like mm. a 1.5 kilo. Yeah. Then you wait till it cools mm -hmm. and you frozen it like this flatten it so yeah. it's very easy to go into the freezer what, why do you flatten it is there a specific thing about the flat yes. structure of it no the thing is if you pack things in your freezer you want them to stack like that not okay. like all dead my car right. and then it saves space in your free oh, freezer yes okay. so during the week mm. you can take one out on tuesday mm. And quickly make a spaghetti bolognese. Mm. But you that's on I a little... I love the way you say it. Yeah. You get me all the time. And you bolognese. that don't eat pasta, <laughs> yeah. but you can use zucchini noodles. Okay. So, you know, so okay. it's healthy. Yeah, you can yeah. with it. So how do we make the basic mince? What, what, are, what do we need yes. for it? Yes, we need an onion. Okay. We need garlic. Mm. We need about 1.5 kilos of mince. Okay. Tomato, a chopped tomato, about three tins. Mm. Salt, pepper, and a little bit of sugar. Okay, you said chopped tomato. Do I need to use only like canned sort of tomatoes? Can no. I not use freshly? No, you can, if a tomatoes is in season at the moment. Okay. So what's great, you can go and buy beautiful tomatoes. Mm. And do it all yourself. Yeah, put it in, in the sun, because tomatoes like to stand in the sun to really? ripen. Yeah, okay. they love that. So if you've got a little place um, on the sh on your um, windowsill, yeah. put a few tomatoes yeah. there. They ripen in the sun, and that is for beautiful, oh, gorgeous. Okay. All right, so you've got our onions in there. Yeah, a bit of garlic. Mm -hmm. And if you like something else, like other herbs, you can always add that. As mm. I said, the recipe is there as a guideline. Okay, so. cool. So what herbs would you use? I would uh, use like Italian herbs mm. because the bolognese is like an Italian thing. Okay. So you get a bit of oregano, a bit yeah. of parsley, yeah. something like that. Yeah. And all you, I'm not going to chuck in everything now, so we're okay. just going to do that. Mm. So what we do with this, I use a fork, as you can see, to yeah. loosen it up, the meat, loosen it up. Yeah. So you fry this for about 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. And while it's frying, we're going to season it. Okay. So you've got some salt in yeah, there. Yeah, with some salt. Uh -huh. I love using a Malayan salt because it's just a little bit healthier than okay. normal salt. Okay. And then there's a bit of... Pepper, pepper, black pepper, but you can also well. use white pepper. Yeah. My mom I see some it. sugar here. What's yes. this for? Mm. So the sugar balances the, the tartness of the tomato oh, that we can add. It's acidic, isn't yep. it? Okay. Yep. Well, the key word is beef. If you want a link to this recipe sent to you so you get a step-by-step -step guide to how to make this yourself, is beef. SMS that to 33728 and we'll send it to you. So you're adding that tomato in there? Yeah, it's about three tins. And uh -huh. as you said, you can use beautiful yeah. fresh tomatoes as well. Mm. You mm. can just chop them whole. You don't mm. even have to de-skin them. Mm. What I love about this entire meal is that it's obviously affordable because you're prepping this meal for days in advance. How exactly. long can you keep your mince in the freezer for? You can keep it for at least a month. 
Oh, really? At least a month. A whole yes. month of yeah, not cooking. If yeah. you're like me, <laughs> you don't want to cook again. <laughs> cook at the beginning of the month for 30 days. Yeah. But then you're having like a, a mince overload. Yeah, and you're going to be mincing all the way. <laughs> mincing all the way throughout the month. Okay, so it's an easy to make. Yes. Uh, and this is, I'm guessing, what it comes out looking yeah. like after about 20 minutes. Yeah, it's beautiful. Mm. So we're going to show in the next segment exactly what you can do with this. So okay, you've cool. got like, say, four or five of those packets in your fridge. Yeah. And it's so easy. Say you come home on Wednesday night at 9 o'clock at night. Yeah. And instead Jeez, of where are you coming from at nine o'clock? <laughs> <laughs> instead of phoning yeah. for food, yeah. you take out a packet. It defrosts very easy because it's packed like this. Mm. And you can make a waffle. Mm. You can make a jaffle. Yeah. A waffle. There's so many things. Yeah. So yeah. it's all about really keeping it interesting mm. because you prep this entire meal for five days. How do you really make sure that you're not minced out by the time you're done? <laughs> okay. Well, this is really interesting. It's affordable. It's quick to make. Yeah. It's freezer friendly. It can stay in your freezer for a really long time. Yeah. It's also really quick and convenient to yeah. make SMS the keyword beef to 33728. We'll see you after the break because after the break we're making that uh, spaghetti bolognese. Mm. Right? That's really exciting and meeting all the award winners from the Safters in 2019. Yes. Stay with us. Really nice. The big night is finally here. The 13th annual South African Film and Television Awards have arrived. And man, I must say... Listen, guys, if you're a fan of a luxury, elegance, sophistication, all this... Who are not listened to are the people who have no options. And this is for you. It's definitely been one for the books. And to the Oscars, man, you guys have... It's my feel good birthday show. Welcome, Welcome back. back. Yeah. Yeah, man. Are you feeling yourself right I'm now? I'm feeling it, man. I got I got 3,000 Monopoly rants burning a <laughs> hole in my pocket with a little extra spending money. Um, we're loving being able to take a short lift. Hashtag short lift, in fact. And you can go to shortlift.co.za to experience tourism in a completely different way. Why do you want to go somewhere else when you can explore our own backyard? And we've been bringing you some phenomenal, truly phenomenal deals and i'm going to get a couple of options this morning and see how yeah. i want to spend my hard-earned bucks absolutely so um let's start off in the western cape right okay i like it if you if you're somebody who has a romantic interest uh -huh. in your life and you'd like to spoil them maybe show them Ooh. le good life <laughs> right there's a spectacular scenic group sunset cruise that goes towards clifton beach while you are there you will be sipping on some champagne enjoying delectable offshore picnics on the Serenity One catamaran. Take a look Ooh, at that while you're there. Wow. Sip on a cocktail on the onboard bar. You can take a dip in the ocean. Jump on the trampoline if you're that way inclined. All the while uh, the boat docks at Clifton Beach. And this you can explore from 1,999 Rand. Look at Whoa, that. Oh, it's a steal. Your steal, Instagram man. will thank you forever. <laughs> um, how about yeah, like if it? you are in Bumalanga, then you can enjoy a two-night couples retreat at the Forever Lodge Mount Sheba, including tra Ooh. coach transport, breakfast and dinner daily. Uh, one romantic turn, uh, turn down uh, with chocolate and sparkling wine will be included and a 500 rand day spa voucher for each couple to use towards a treatment of their ah, choice. And you can explore that lovely. from just 2,999 rand. And look at the scenery. Can we just hey, appreciate man. Mpumalanga just for a second? Take a moment. Wow. That's wow. A drop to one knee. That's, that's a, a drop to one knee kind of a vibe yeah. there, man. Yo. What are you trying to say, bro? Woo. Okay, KZN. Now, of course, you don't need to travel to Venice. 
if you want to experience the romance of a gondola ride. A shot left to KZN will see you sailing along Durban's canals with the city night lights twinkling in, this, in the distance. Um, and then imagine rose petals scattered inside the gondola, a delectable picnic basket for two. Huh? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Imagine yeah. that, all that in KZN. And you can explore that from 1,169 Rand. I, c I can't believe this is like right on our doorstep. Yeah, People man. travel to Italy to go and see yeah, this man. and experience this. For what, yo? For Do we what? cheer? Do we oh. cheer? And then, of course, if you are in <laughs> Gauteng, you can enjoy two nights accommodation at the Forever Hotel in Warm Baths, which includes coach transport from Southgate or Santon. It includes breakfast daily, a game drive, special braai night, and a welcome pack containing gifts and refreshments for you to enjoy. And they have two options available, and you, you can explore this from 2,396 Rand for a triple room, or if you're looking for a more romantic double room, then it's from 2,599 Rand. It's tough, dude. Yeah, wh it's which tough, of those, so look, I'm, which I'm of those would you love, choose? But I'm sorry, that view of Mpomalanga, that for me is breathtaking. Right. I work hard for my money, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna spend it well. I'm gonna that's spend, two triple nine, that, that's I'm gonna good. spend all of that. 3,000 Monopoly Rants, boom. Right there. I'm going to Mpumalanga, I'm gonna give you a, a 500 buck finders fee for, for hooking me up. Exactly, thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm making an awesome tour that. guide as well. You can pack <laughs> me into your bags. <laughs> some, some really good deals, but we suggest you get to shortleft.co.za if you want to experience this incredible stay at the Mount Shiva. And look at that, that is majestic, but a ton of other amazing deals. Go and explore wow. your own backyard uh, and do it on an unbelievable budget. Awesome, Absolutely. man. Well, we're back in our kitchen this morning. Before uh, we went away from the kitchen, Tabiso yeah. and Anel made a beautiful basic mince recipe because it is yes. Motivational Monday and we're getting motivated to get into the kitchen but also to create recipes that go further. Mm. And the nice thing about this recipe, Anel, is that it can be frozen and when you defrost it, you can use it in a whole host of different dishes. Yes, it's amazing. So first thing I'm going to show you guys is the bolognese. Oh, yeah. So this is the frozen mince yes. that's just been defrosted. I'm going to add that to a pan. Wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm going to add a bit of beef stock, ah. a little bit of beef stock, just to give it a bit of moisture. Yes. And to make it Italian, really Italian, ah. authentic, it's a bit of oh. Italian herbs. Lovely. So we're going to add that. So Leanne, can you see now that it's defrosted just in the pan, warmed yes. up. Beautiful. Give it two, three minutes. We're going to add our spaghetti, and there's your spaghetti bolognese. Bob's your uncle's spaghetti yes. bolognese, quick and easy. Yes. And quick the nice and easy. thing is that these uh, mince packs, once you've once you've frozen them, I was listening, you can fr uh, freeze them for up to a month. Yes, you can freeze them for up to a month. Beautiful. And, and what Nicole does, our clever Nicole lady in the kitchen, <gasps> she cuts oh. it open here and you can actually just squeeze it out yes. when it's defrosted. She Brilliant. actually just squeezed this one out here and this one had been frozen. Yes. The kiwi is dish is you, if you would like the recipe for our savory mince that we've just made and of course for all of these great options as to what you can make. Uh, here's also another option and now we can make some nachos. So we've yes. got some salsa which we would naturally lather all over the nachos over here like this. And then we've got our savory mince that's just been uh, defrosted, yes. which would, we would pack on top of the nachos. Toast. How awesome is this? I love yes. this. Once again, keyword dish to 33728. We will gladly send you your ingredients list and the link to the recipe, and you could be making this yourself. Once you popped your cheese on, pop it into the oven, wait until it's nicely melted, take it out and serve to your guests. And then Delicious. I'm gonna make, yeah, look at that. Then I'm gonna make a cottage pie. So what I'm going to do, oh, wow. got, I've got some mash here. So I'm going to add it onto this mince. <gasps> you can make little individual cottage yes. pies. Yes, so I'm going to add this on here. And I think you can add some cheese on here as well. Okay. And we're going to pop Ooh. this into the oven as well. We are living our best easy huh? lives. Note, none of these dishes took us more than 10 minutes to make. Okay, of course, we're going to make them properly. Um, but it takes under 10 minutes. It's wonderful for busy moms, busy individuals who really don't have time to be slogging in the kitchen all day. Nicely, your savory yeah. mince has gone a long way. Whether you've frozen them or made it fresh, it's the dish that just keeps on giving. Yeah, and if you like a bit of... Curry. <gasps> a little itziki. Just do this to nice. the mince. Even to your spaghetti bolognese. If you like this, 
We're it. available. Dish three three seven two eight. We'll gladly send you the ingredients list and the link to the recipe, and you could be making not just one, but maybe all of these dishes if you so choose. That's how easy it is. This Book flights from four hundred and ninety nine rand only on travelstart.co.za. Well, we continue to get you motivated to travel this Monday because the truth is, what's better than traveling? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing, Nothing is better than <laughs> it. And uh, Travel Start, they've got the uh, Dream Week sale happening, which means that you get to travel to your favorite destinations locally or internationally from the 8th of March with the prices slashed to almost absolutely nothing. It is the biggest flight saving of the year. Absolutely. So let's kick off on Monday with epic deals to come for some of your favorite destinations with Emma Farouk from this morning. Travel Star's branding communica uh, communications manager. I think she's the perfect person to let yeah. us in on some of these epic deals. Emma, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Good to have you, man. Welcome back. Thanks. Emma, it's always exciting to have you here, but I mean, what a, what a, what a sale, what a thing that you guys got, have got going on here. What is this Dream Week sale happening? What it's, what, what's it all about? So we're running a sale pretty much the whole of this week. Mm. Um, yeah, literally the whole of this week. Um, and we've gone out and procured a whole bunch of awesome, awesome exclusive deals only for Travel Start for the whole week yeah. um, on all of the top airlines, uh, Virgin Atlantic, Kalula today. We have a one day 30% off sale on Kalula today. We have Comair, we have, who else? Etihad, we have Tar, we have just all of the best. Just, just, just all of them. I, yeah, all of, all, of the, all of the airlines and all of the places. Yeah, yeah. yeah but let's focus, let's focus on, on the local flights. What can yeah. we look forward in terms of your local flights and maybe vouchers that's available in your Dream Week sale? Okay, so locally today we have specifically a Kalula 30% off sale to mm. all of their destinations so that's awesome mm. um, we also have um, the rest of the week we also have mango coming on sale we have mm. SAA um, also domestic flights on sale so we have a lot going on in the domestic front yeah um, and then on the vouchers that's more on the international yeah front. okay let's speak yeah. about international because yes. that gets me really excited yes. I mean any travel is good but what sort of it's always expensive to travel internationally so what does this dream week sale mean for us if we're looking to travel internationally so I think if you're traveling internationally, we have really, really great deals. But mm. the thing is, what we decided to do this time around as well is we decided to, why only bring you the airlines that are on sale and the destinations are on sale, even yeah. though there are hundreds of them. Uh -huh. um, we also decided to add an extra 600 Rand voucher off on any international flight if you book wow. it this week so that you know, you're not restricted to just specifically go to the, the, the airlines and the destinations and the cities that we have on sale. You can actually use it on any flight, any time, anywhere you want to go if you're booking internationally this week. Nice. Okay, well there's definitely yeah. an opportunity for you to cross some oceans. Yeah. yeah. Um, but also, I mean, like we've spoken about, you know, the fact that there's so much local kind of options available mm. as yeah. well because there's beautiful people's on budgets we're still early of the year you know but you can do so much Absolutely. with uh, if you are taking a look at your budgets and if you don't have that much available but i think lastly so just some tips and tricks from your side you know going about booking online what do you what, what would you say are some of your top tips to make sure that it's a smooth process um, well, first of all, I would say book as early as you possible uh, okay. as you possibly can um, with every single airline deal in the world. And this is what a lot of our customers don't understand is every single airline deal that you have, it's subject to availability. Mm, yeah. There's different booking classes, even within economy. So you need to get there as early as possible so you can get the cheapest deals. Yeah. Um, flap well, is for also this particular one, I mean, yeah. you only have between today and the 8th to benefit from, take advantage of this particular sale, right? Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Um, and the, honestly, the fares change by the hour. Um, you know, yeah. the, the fares we're pulling are live from, mm. from our GDS, so so they really can change at any time. So the sooner you get in there, the better. Um, use, our, use our voucher if you want to fly internationally. Mm. It's Dream 600, I think it yeah. is, or Capitals. Mm. Um, if you book on Flap, um, our app, it's really, really simple to use as well, so that's also a great option, but um, yeah. It's pretty, wow. pretty I mean, I think this week really affords people to be just spontaneous. Yeah. Exactly. Just, just do it, man. Yeah. Just do it. It's always like, oh, should I? Should I, I don't do know. Just, just, do just, 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 just do it. Just do it. So I did, a, I did a quick calculation um, the other day. Yeah. And if you don't buy a cappuccino on your way to work every day, within six months you can afford to buy a, a flight to Portugal. I Luckily, mean, I don't ever have to buy a cappuccino <laughs> on my way to work. <laughs> 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 and you can come visit us any day we can do that. Well, why don't you go on travelstart.co.za, get booking your next holiday now, whether it's local or international. This Dream Week sale, it runs from today till the 8th of March, and it really is an impressive sale. It is probably one of the biggest sales you'll get on your flights across many different airlines. Download the app as well. Exactly, that's the Flap app. It's a very, yeah. very cool nifty mm -hmm. app, and also you can log into the website travelstart.co.za. Cool. Well, all the inspiration Thanks. that you need. <laughs>
<laughs> Flights from 499 Rand, only on travelstar.co.za. <laughs> Continue the laughing. <laughs> All the travel inspiration that you need is here today. Listen, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we reflect on this past weekend's South African Film and Television Awards. Take a look at the red carpet and some of the biggest award winners. Look at Mama Penny Libiani looking Ooh. smashing. I, I My just, word. It just levels. I just love Ooh. the fact that this looked like a really big deal, and that's what it is. It's yeah. so cool to recognize, especially female filmmakers and videographers Absolutely. in that space. And in that same vein as, as Princess I'm hoping it's going to swing a muffin my way, please. <laughs> um, we're going to take a look at what the National Film and Video Foundation is doing to support young female filmmakers, something quite groundbreaking. Absolutely. Thank you, my dear. Stop the break. We love you, Princess. Thank you, Princess. Oh, the uh, croissants uh, look fresh uh, as well. Uh, uh. <laughs> Only you can make my day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Na bantu mutu kimutu kabatu umtu ngumuntu na bantu mutu kimutu kabatu umtu ngumuntu na bantu mutu kimutu. So welcome back. You're tuning into your Feel Good Breakfast Show Express the right on SABC3. It's your Monday morning, the 4th of March. And like we say, may the 4th be with you. It's going to be an epic day. Now, of course, we're leading up to the launch of the brand new Samsung S10 range this week. And we currently, uh, currently you can actually pre-order your device from Dion Wired on their website, dionwired.co.za, starting from 15,599 Rand. I suggest you go do that right now. I'll tell you why in just a second. But today we are focusing on the incredible photo and video capabilities. And we're joined by a tech expert, Brian Smith, this morning. Brian, how's it, brother, man? Thank you. It's great to be back. Dude, so good. I've been having so much fun with the brand new Samsung S10. So that's the S10 Plus that we've been playing around with, the prism white, <laughs> as you can say. It's very sleek. It's very smart. It's absolutely amazing. Um, so we're going to be talking about the camera capabilities, which literally blew me away. So, so I mean, let's, let's talk about a three camera setup at the back. Absolutely. So if you think at the moment, if people have a single camera smartphone, or that's what you maybe might yeah. see more commonly, that relies on something called digital zoom, which is where your image sensor will actually, instead of refocusing its lens yeah. or trying to capture a closer or wider angle, will instead try to digitally crop that element. Instead, this phone has three different camera lenses, which lets you enable you know, a different yeah. range of shots from wide angle all the way to telephoto. Which I love because, you know, there's so many times I love nature. I love, you know, taking those pictures. So you can see that's our studio. We're screencasting right now. And uh, it's got this wide angle, which you can literally capture almost as wide as the eye can see. Absolutely. So you can actually take quite a wide angle shot yeah. straight out, or you can zoom straight in with a telephoto lens. Wow. And it's very rare that you actually get a camera smartphone that has that much versatility yeah. to enable you to capture, you know, a range of different yeah. shots. Uh, and I love the, the, the quick option. So if you, if you, because it has these little icons, so you can literally just tap on that and automatically it switches, which is great. Absolutely. 
And look how that, that's, that's a wide <laughs> angle. I mean, it's in portrait mode right now. But look how quickly and, and, and the, the, the detail quality, of the zoom. That's what I'm saying, the detail of the zoom. We, we were talking about it right now. Normally with a wide angle you photo lens, you, you compromise on quality. Absolutely. So what's really interesting about this smartphone is that you get a really great set of cameras across the board. So you'll yeah. get a 16 megapixel wide angle lens as well as a 12 megapixel uh, standard shooter. So a wide angle lens standard as well as a telephoto lens. So you sure. really don't have to compromise from any kind of shot you take. Absolutely. Talk about the front facing camera, man, because all about the selfies as well. And there you have a dual <laughs> camera setup. Absolutely. So I think I'll let you handle the, the selfies. <laughs> But, oh good, look, look Brian, you see what a handsome we man. <laughs> we can focus on you here. Okay. What's really interesting about this smartphone is that it actually has an entirely new sensor on the front, a new uh, camera, yeah. and that's called an RGB sensor, so you'll see this cut out on the yeah. front over here. That essentially is a, is a depth enabling feature that enables you to take uh, depth away filters, for example, on Snapchat and Instagram. Yeah. This phone actually has built-in Instagram settings right from the camera, yeah. so you can capture a story directly from the camera app without having to open the Instagram app itself. I love that, man, I love that. And of course, once again, we know that when uh, the S9 and the Note 9, you know, with the slow-mo capabilities launched, I mean, it's packed in there now even better as well. Pass me the coffee beans here quickly. Want to try something? Thank you very much. Chadwin, so, so here we have some coffee beans. Are you going to try and do this? You're going to get nice and this. close. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and drop some coffee beans. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Okay. There we go. So let's see how that came out. And that is super second. slow mo. And of course, you can now <laughs> also edit some which part of the video will be in super slow motion. And once again, you also have the wow, that is really slow, dude. I think you missed it completely. <laughs> you missed it completely. But I mean, the fact that you well, also- what's nice is that we can actually edit from the get-go. We can edit our uh, slow yeah. motion as well. Yeah, if you captured it correctly. <laughs> so yeah, but I mean, once again, you also have the option to, to add music uh, you know, to your video as well, which is already on the phone, so you can make an epic slow motion, motion video. So what's awesome about this camera is that it captures detail in up to 960 frames per second, sure. which sounds super slow, but the objective is actually to be as yeah. fast as possible to capture all that rich detail. Fortunately, yeah. I got my timing slightly wrong, but like exactly. from the get-go, you can edit directly in this app suite, and well, if you want to cast your monitor like this, you get yeah. a beautiful big display on which to work on. Come, dude, let's try it one more time. Just one more time. Let's go for it. You've right. got to do this. Now, got to get it right this time, okay? Okay. Three. I'm going to start. Go. <laughs> there we go. I think, I think we, we got, got something it. now. But you also, this is the super slow-mo setting that you've done. Yeah, look at go. that. <laughs> yes, man. This is why I'm in front of the camera, not behind it. <laughs> <laughs> the concentration <laughs> is real. Brian, thank you very much, man. I mean, look at that. How easy was that? Very, very impressed. Can't wait to learn a bit more about this phone, man. I've been playing around with it. Mind is blown. So make, make sure that you are among some of the first with Dion Wire to get your hands on the exclusive Samsung S10. Pre-order the phone right now on dionwire.co.za. It includes a Samsung original accessory voucher and also Galaxy Buds valued at 3,500 Rand plus a free JBL Bluetooth speaker and free mini car charger. It is an amazing deal. Now the exclusive Dion Wire pre-order deal of the Samsung S10 includes free Samsung Care as well, valid for two years, which consists of two front screen, back glass, and a battery replacement. Now, repairs in store at Dion Wide, free device health diagnostic, and also software upgrade. That's a total bundle saving worth 6,100 Rand. So make sure you go out there right now, pre order from Dion Wide at 15,999 Rand. So, what you need to do once again, go to dionwide.co.za to check out this deal and place your order right now for the brand new Samsung Galaxy S10. Well, this weekend wasn't just any weekend. Let's be serious. Let's take a bit of a step back. It was, without a doubt, one of the biggest nights. In fact, the biggest night in the local film and television industry. That's right. We're talking about the Safters, where the best in the business rolled up in their finest to celebrate everything that is the South African film and television industry. The big night is finally here. The 13th annual South African Film and Television Awards have arrived. And man, I must say, I'm so excited. The red carpet is out. The lights are shining bright like our favorite stars. And we're here to bring you all the action. On that note, let's go catch up with our favorite celebrities. The annual South African Film and Television Awards are where our brightest stars are honored for their excellence in the industry. And the theme for this prestigious night was Dare to Dream, a celebration of courage and creativity. 
that is a real legend in the industry. But this past year, what would you say has really stood out for you in terms of talent, in terms of productions? I think two strong films come to mind. So A Winter to My Skin and Five Fingers. And we're making waves all across the globe with the kind of work in all departments. And, and the dreams have to go on to the next generation. But we're not going to stop to challenge them to dare to dream bigger. Monique, you are nominated for a very big category, Best Actress in a Feature Film to be exact. How are you feeling? Very cool. I'm feeling so excited. I'm super humbled. And I'm just enjoying this whole experience so much. I think for me right now, I'm just trying to take it all in. This is my first time at the Safters, and, um, and so it's a very special moment for me, man. Dream, and I think we all are dreamers in this industry, living our dreams, certainly. But I think we all need to reflect on, you know, tonight, as much as we are celebrating our dreams, a dream was lost last night in Sbusi Sokwinana, who tragically, mercilessly passed away. And, um, you know, we remember him tonight, and I hope that we celebrate him and the many that have passed as well. A lot of votes have been coming in for you for this, uh, these two categories. What would you like to say to all your fans that have really rallied behind you leading up to the Saftas tonight? A big, big, big thank you. We've got uh, fans of Tropica, fans of Expresso, fans of Unicola, all of them who've been voting. And I appreciate it so much. Without them, this wouldn't be possible. This is a public vote. And at the end of the day, you know, we do it on the show on Expresso as part of Cardova TV on Tropica to put smiles on people's faces. It's entertainment. And we try and give people a brighter side of life. And I'm glad that we were able to do that to a certain degree. And uh, hopefully bring it home for the family. If we don't, hey, it's all good. We'll keep on bringing the so cool. Leading the pack at this year's Safters is Telenovela The River with 17 nominations in all major categories as well as the coveted category of Best Popular Soapy. One of my favorite telenovelas is The River. I watch it religiously. I absolutely love it. I love the script writing, the characters. It's just the production. It's just amazing. So I hope they take a lot of the awards home. 17 nominations for The River. What do you think makes this production such a success? Why do people love it so much and resonate with it so much? I feel like for me, it's a true South African story with many people that people can relate to. And the fact that the writers do everything with love. I think it starts from there, from the production houses to the writers, to the actors. Everyone really puts in the 100% every single day and it shows. Everyone wants to be recognized. Everybody likes to be acknowledged. So we are very happy. A lot of work was put in. After smashing 92 categories, the night culminated on a high with a gleeful celebration of incredible talent in South Africa. Local telenovela The River were frontrunners with a remarkable 11 golden horns and the nod as most popular soap. But you guys have been nominated for 17 awards. How are you feeling? Aesthetic, I think. <laughs> Stunned and shocked. Without giving away too much, what can we expect from The River in the months to come? Lots and lots and lots of over-the-top drama. I think the audience have seen in season one that we do epic stuff. We, we, we shoot in crazy over-the-top locations. So I've got an amazing location where we actually shut down Pretoria CBD. So Lindy, we're still going to be getting to a lot of mischief. Tandega, you've just won a Best Lead Actress in a TV Drama for lockdown, a big award. How are you feeling? Overwhelmed, but grateful. I truly am grateful because it says to me I'm doing something good. Guys, first and foremost, a huge congratulations to all of you guys from the movie So the Winter to My Skin. Tell me how are you guys feeling after winning two awards tonight? I got this pain in my stomach, man. I don't, know, I don't even know what I'm thinking, what's going on, but I'm just excited. I'm ecstatic. Uh, it's a very important story that had to be told, and uh, I think we told it very well, and I think tonight is a testament to that. Mac Cafe are the official sponsors of the South African Film and Television Awards and they continue to support the arts and entertainment industry. They are also sponsoring two major categories, namely Best Actress and Actor in a Feature Film. Greg, Mac Cafe has been sponsoring the Safters for a number of years now. Why do you think that uh, there's a brand synergy between Mac Cafe and the Safters? Well, for us, it's simply about talent. You know, really, really great talent. And it's about winning. You know, I'm lucky enough that I travel all over the world and I see the talent, whether it's in business, whether it's in arts and culture. I see it and we've got great talent in this country. McDonald's and McCafe has been sponsoring the Safters now for the last four years. And I must say, every single year, the talent keeps getting better and better and better.
In one of the most coveted awards of the night, local film The Ellen Pocky Story saw both the lead actor and actress take home the Golden Horn for their performance in a feature film. I really wanted, you know, for, my, for, for, for myself. I've been watching the Saftas for seven years, and so this for me is, it's, it's come full circle, my man. I'm very, very happy, and I'm very excited, and I'm so, so honored. And for everybody back in East River, back home where I'm from, and Bella, I love you. This is for them as well. And don't let every, anybody tell you that nothing good ever comes from Bell Hall or East River or Lavender Hill. We love you, man. Why do you think it was so important to tell the story of Ellen Puckies? Ellen Puckies murdered her tick-addicted son in 2007. We are in 2019 and not much has changed. That is the reason for me. That is what fueled me. That is what drove me. Are the people without a voice, are the people who are still struggling today, are the people who have no prospects, are the people who, who are not listened to, are the people who have no options. And this is for you. Wow, what an amazing night it's been seeing our phenomenal talent being celebrated for all the hard work that they put into what they do at the SEFTA Awards. I must say, it's definitely been one for the books. And to the Oscars, man, you guys have nothing on us. Ah, uh, thank you so much to Mac Cafe for taking that moment in between all the magic in film and television and bringing us these awards. What a night. Congratulations to all the winners. Now, there was a total list of 92 categories this year, and you can catch all your favorites if they've won a golden horn on expressoshow.com. National Film and Video Foundation, or NFVF for short, works hard to ensure the equitable growth of South Africa's film and video industry. Now, in partnership with Zinc Pictures, they are running the 2019 Women Filmmakers Project. And right now, we're joined by producer of Zinc, Tehumule Tekanyile, to share more about the purpose and the process behind the program. Thank you very much for, for joining us. Uh, just give us a bit of a background uh, first about how long uh, the Women Filmmakers Project has been running with the NFVF. And uh, have, have, have they, um, I mean, tell me about the, the, the focus, of course, on uh, females um, as candidates. Hi, thanks for having me. Um, so this project has been running with the NFVF for quite a number of years. Mm. Um, I'm the third company to, to take it on and then run with it now. So we're in the second year of our contract. We'll have also another slate next year before it goes on to another female producer. Yes. So um, obviously the focus is on female uh, filmmakers and the, the idea is it's kind of a, an intervention, a career intervention for people that have been in industry but uh, have never had the opportunity to to, to direct, you yes. know, because uh, for what, some reason or the other, uh, and, you know, understanding how our industry works, very, very, you know, male and pale behind the camera. Yeah. So uh, the idea is to, to rebalance all of that um, and give, you know, some female voices an opportunity to also tell stories so we can also diversify the kind of stories we see on screen. Yeah. So what does the project timeline actually consist of and what are the outcomes um, of each participant? Um, so each participant, uh, the idea is to come out of it with a short film that will help launch their career. Mm -hmm. um, so the, the timeline is just over nine months, so it's a concentration. So just imagine, you know, a, a film school curriculum compressed into nine months, which is why we like, we, we, we look for people that have been in industry and already have an idea of how things work. Mm -hmm. um, so for over nine months, when we develop a story with with the, the participants and then we go on to shoot a short film and at the end of it they walk away with a film that's able to go to festivals and yeah. open up their careers to, you know, to become a director, a female director in the industry. Yeah. And now we understand that you and the 2018 participant of uh, be the Becoming series just came back from Ouagadougou in Burkina Faso where you presented a film there. Tell us about that experience, what it was like and uh, what kinds of success stories you, you found in this mentorship and training program. Oh, yes, that was an amazing experience. Mm. So uh, one of our films was uh, in competition at, at the Sparkle, which is such an honor because it's, it's kind of like the mecca of African filmmaking, mm. you know? So uh, all the great names have come, have come through that festival. So Usman Sinben and uh, Jibril Jyot Mambeti, all these names that you think of when you think of African filmmaking all went through this. So it was such an honor that our film, Miracle, uh, written and directed by Bonin Daba, 
was uh, was accepted. So her and I were both in, in Ouagadougou, and it's such a big year. It was the 50th anniversary of the festival, mm-hmm. um, you know. But it was amazing. But what was sad was in all of those names, there's never been a woman that's been nominated for the top prize. Mm-hmm. So we're hoping to see that change, with, especially with um, people coming out from our program. That's yeah. what we're looking for, you know. Yeah, and I'm sure that that will change very soon with the interventions uh, like this. And I think what, what is also exciting is that this presents just uh, such an incredible opportunity so what does a candidate have to, to, to do in order to be eligible for this program and how can they enter? Okay, so they need to look out for the call out and everything that we're looking for. Yeah. But basically what they need to have is at least two years experience in the film industry. Okay. Doesn't matter what department they've been in, could have been wardrobe or makeup or anything, but if they have a story, then at least the first draft of the story that they can send us. Um, and they experience, and then they submit their story to us. If it's good enough, then it becomes part of the ones that are selected for the program. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Thank you very much for that, and Seho, thank you for joining us this morning. It's a pleasure. Thanks so much for having us. And that is producer at Zinc Pictures, Seho Molete Kanyile. So if you are a young female filmmaker or in, in the film and media industry and you're dying to gain that industry experience that will propel you into a successful career in the business, then make sure that you submit your entries by no later than the 10th of March to women's project at zincpictures.com. Well, we're back in our W Beauty room, of course, still talking about all things SAFTAs because it's everything that, uh, that, that people are talking about right now. Still, the red carpet is uh, trending, and of course, those that won awards. And the losers are oh. bitter. They are very bitter. I'm getting texts from them, are and I'm you? like, girl, there's always next year, but she ain't getting nominated next year. We know that. Are you okay. guys part of the same club? Uh, no. What do you mean? <laughs> I, I wasn't nominated. One day I will be nominated and I will win it. What you got Okay, there? let's talk fashion. Boyki yes. Tulo, who is an expresso star, what we love, wow. Miss Tulo here. Yes. She kicked off the night's performances and this is her on the red carpet. Y'all can see it on your screen right now. Okay. Love me some Boise, she knows I love her, but the boobies are very, very squashied. Are they squashed? It's squashied <laughs> boobies. Listen, I'm all for big breasts on women and there's yeah. a way to keep it you know, sexy, but also sort of understated. Yeah. This is a bit too tight on that bustier. Okay. This is her performing. Oh, Look wow. at that back. That is awesome. And she was also calling for a brand new alter ego name. Yes, yes, yes. You know, yes, like Beyonce's yes, yes. got? Yes, what would Boiti's alter ego be? Ah, uh, I don't know. Boiti Bish. Okay. Um, next, Rory. We love Rory, who is the host of SABC One's um, Smooth Fan. Smooth Fan, yes. She hosted the red carpet in this wild what? frock. Oh my goodness. Paying this is homage to all else. the colonial women who sacrificed grain for wow. years. Rory, I love you girl, not my favorite. This is her again, she did an outfit change. This I'm much more you here for. You're loving, you're loving. Yeah. Well, too bad we're out of time next year. Oh, that's, that's what Padley happens Ann when you Oh, wait, we have to uh, I'm did, part of Namzamo, I know I, I'm doing No, you're best, boo. Oh, okay. Thank she you. always best in my book. Oh, this thank is you. at Birth Simple Simple, simple. simple we love that. King. Uh, talking about stuff we love, Francois Clark is on the show. He's going to be performing for us after the break. And then we're also taking a look at a brand new SABC throw a show <laughs> called Miles <laughs> Apart, Miles Together. It's reuniting people and it feels so good. We'll be right back after this. Let's take a look at my yeah, girl, Look at that oh, body. Oh, I like this. Serving body. Oh, you can make my day. These four walls became a home Since the day you walked in My heart ceased to be alone Since the moment that you took my hand And pulled me closer Kissed me unexpectedly And told me it's cause you want me to know What I'd be missing if I didn't fall Up the phone, I could I have known that one day I would be the one to say. I wish I met you at it. Hopefully, that doesn't happen when it's actually in real life. <laughs> I wish I met you at a different time.
Oh, well, welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast show, your edition of your Monday morning. Well, let's get it underway by taking a final look at those morning headlines. Thank you so much, Zoe. In the news this morning, President Cyril Ramaphosa met with King Mswati III yesterday to hold talks on bilateral, regional and continental issues. South Africa and Eswatini, formerly Swaziland, have sound relations which were further cemented in 2004 with the formation of the Joint Bilateral Commission for Cooperation. South Africa is also Eswatini's largest trading partner, with more than 30 billion rand in trade being completed in the last two years. Ramaphosa is accompanied by International Relations Minister Lindiwe Sisulu and State Security Minister Dipo Letsatsi Duba. The traditional and Khoisan leadership bill is a step in the right direction to address the historical grievances of the Khoi and San people. This is the opinion of Parliament's Cooperative Governance and Traditional Affairs Committee Chairperson Richard Ndakane. This comes as the National Assembly passed the bill and it is now expected to be signed into law by President Cyril Ramaphosa. One of the objectives of the bill is to protect and promote the institutions of traditional and Khoisan leadership. Now moving further abroad, the UN Humanitarian UC, uh, F Affairs Chief Mark Lowcock yesterday released 10 billion or rather million dollars as a first contribution to an appeal by Zimbabwean authorities that 234 million dollars is urgently needed for more than 5 million people in need of aid. The appeal was made when Lowcock visited the country to assess its problems. It's believed that some 7.5 million people in both rural and urban areas are in dire need of food aid. A Judiciary Committee of the U.S. House of Representatives is seeking documents alleging obstruction of justice, corruption and abuse of power by President Donald Trump and his aides. Committee Chairperson Gerald Nadler said that 60 individuals and entities would be receiving subpoenas from today. Nadler said he believed Trump had obstructed justice, but any impeachment move would depend on the results of the inquiry. Trump has consistently denied any wrongdoing and accused Democrats of a witch hunt. And then finally, huge crowds gathered in the Alaskan city of Anchorage this weekend to celebrate the ceremonial start of the toughest race on earth, the 47th uh, Iderita Trail Sled Dog Race. Now, the 1,600-kilometer race is from Willow, a small community north of Anchorage, to Nome on Alaska's western coast. 52 dog teams will take part, crossing two mountain ranges, the frozen Yukon River and ocean ice on the Bering Sea coast. Each team consists of 16 Alaskan Huskies. Rules state that five must remain when they cross the finish line. Now for the next nine to 10 days, all eyes will be on the extremely brave and fiercely loyal Huskies doing what they love best, taming the merciless Alaskan wilderness at full pace. Well, that was your 8 o'clock news update. Here's a final look at what's happening in the world of sport with Graham. Taming the Sri Lankan pace attack, Proteus captain Fluff Duplessis was unbeaten on 112 as the Proteus cruised to an eight-wicket victory over Sri Lanka in the opening one-day international in Johannesburg over the weekend, beating the target of 231 with more than 11 overs to spare. Duplessis praised veteran leg spinner Imran Tahir now without a long-term CSA contract prospect, saying he has been probably his biggest weapon as a captain over the years. Then in the Derby Day on the Super Rugby front, the Stormers beat the Sharks 16-11 in Durban. Evan Etzebeth bossing the physical exchanges. And as the Bulls beat the Lions 30-12 in Johannesburg, Flyoff and standing captain Andre Pollard plundered 20 points with his boot, taking a season tally to 52 points from just three matches so far. And then on the footballing front locally, Cape Town City denied Bidvest Vitz the full three points when they claimed a very impressive 3-2 win on Saturday, completed by a stunning Riyad Noradin free kick. Elsewhere, Orlando Pirates secured a 1-0 league win over Golden Arrows to move within just a single point of league league leaders Mamalodi Sundowns and that's a wrap of your Monday morning sports. Okay, well, time for us to take a quick look at what to expect in your weather. And we just want to say thank you to the beautiful sunrise photos that's been coming through. So, Sanele, thank you for your gorgeous blue skyline. 
from Pretoria and Dobson for your amazing skyline from Trafalgar. Now let's take a look at those temperatures starting off in Polokwane, a low of 19 with a high of 29 can be expected. Mbombela 21 with a high of 29. Pretoria 18, 32. Johannesburg 17 with a high of 31. It's sunny in Mahiking 18 with a high of 36 for today. Klaarsdorp 17, 35. Partly cloudy conditions in Kimberley, 16 with a high of 35. Bloemfontein, 13, 34. Richards Bay, 22 with a high of 33. Partly cloudy conditions in Peter Maritzburg, 17 with a high of 32. Partly cloudy conditions in Durban, 23 reaching a high of 30. Mtata 1329, East London 19 with a high of 26. It's sunny in Craddock today with a high of 33 degrees Celsius. If you're in Port Elizabeth, expect 18 with a high of 25 for today. Some scattered showers is expected in George with a high of 25. Sunny in Sutherland, a low of 10, a high of 25. Some rain is expected in Cape Town today, 16 with a high of 22. Worcester 14, 28. Springbok 15 with a high of 28 and sunny conditions in Uppington. A low of 18 with a high of 34 degrees Celsius. And that's where we leave your weather this morning on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. Zoe, thank you so much. Let's take a final look at your roads this morning. We start off in the Free State in Villiers. There has been a multi-vehicle accident on the M3 inbound. That's before the R103 turnoff. Please approach that area with caution. And in Gauteng, in Pretoria, in Attridgeville, there are roadworks, or roadblocks rather, to community protest action happening there, affecting all entry points of Attridgeville and the Lotus Gardens. There are no trains operating off to the trains in uh, Salisville Corridor, and taxi services are also affected. So please do find an alternative mode of transport this morning and up to the train lines there are faulty points at Elsie's River that are impacting the northern line trains please allow for an extended travel time this morning that's a final look at your roads all right then uh, let's continue your Monday morning hey listen have you already gotten your hands on the Samsung Galaxy S10 uh, probably not, but you can, um, unless you are Ewan, of course. Um, he's, been, no, he's been having a lot of fun, uh, I think, lording it over us. But it really does look like some of the most amazing new technology is built into this as well. But you have an opportunity with Dion Wired to pre-order and score yourself an incredible package deal in the process. So um, get on this exclusive offer right now um, with DionWired.co.za as the platform to do it. It's got a Samsung Original Accessory Voucher mm -hmm. and Galaxy Buds, which everyone seems to just desperately want. Yeah. 3,500 Rand, the value there, plus a free JBL Bluetooth speaker and free car mini charger. Absolutely. Taboo. That's a nice little package, eh? Check that all out. This Boom. exclusive Dion Wired pre order deal of a Samsung S10 also includes your free Samsung Care valid for two years, which, in which consists of two front screen and back glass and battery replacements, repairs, repairs install at Dion Wired, also free device health diagnostic and software upgrade, a total bundle saving with 6,100 Rand when you pre order now from 15,500. And ninety-nine rand. Certainly, a lot of value that you're getting in there. Yeah, very much so, and it's a game changer. I mean, just a, I can feel intuitively with the software updates, the things that have happened, uh, you know, in that side as well. It's not just an awesome device with like a really cool back. What, what's the back called? That's prism the white. Frozen prism, white. Prism, prism white. Prism white. Prism, prism white. Um, it's insured, eh? You and you said um, <laughs> it's. Um, it really is a game changer. So get on. Dion Zai, uh, Dion right now and pre-order and, and be the first to scoop it. And the buds, man. I want the buds. Mm. Beautiful. All right, listen, uh, right now it is time for music on your Monday morning. We have seriously been enjoying the Yo, sounds of Francois Clon. So good! And so here good. he is performing a song called Please Stay. These four walls became a wall since the day you walked in. My heart ceased to be alone since the moment that you took my hand and pulled me closer and kissed me unexpectedly. And told me it's cause you want me to know what I'd be missing if I up the phone that could I have known the one day I will be the one to say please stay don't go please stay don't go please stay don't go I can't live inside these walls if it ain't you that I can't 
became whole too. shape of you that I fit into. Just take this off Book flights from 499 Rand, only on travelstar.co.za. Well, welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. And I just had to check, is it Monday, is it Tuesday? It is Monday indeed. And even though we are talking Tuesday, Travel Tuesday, it's all about the traveling. We couldn't wait until tomorrow to tell you the good news because this month, Travel Start, they have set out to make your travel dreams come true by helping you to see the world one fantastic destination at, the, at a time. So whether you're searching for a travel steal or ready for a sightseeing splurge, the Travel Start Dream Week sale is going to sweep you off your feet. And Emma is still with us in studio. She's Travel Star's brand and communications manager. She's joining us to chat a bit more about some of these epic deals that's available to you. I'm excited already just seeing <laughs> all of the deals available. It's definitely got the travel feels going in studio today. But Emma, what are some of those day-to-day -day things that we can rethink on doing in order to make sure that we have the funds necessary for traveling? Because it's really not something that has to break, break the bank. Absolutely. So I think that, um, I mean, you can always look at places which don't require visas, all of that sort of yes. stuff to save some cash. But, you know, something that really stuck with me actually was um, a family friend um, once said to us when we were about 10 years old, you know, you're never going to be sitting in your rocking chair when you're an old granny thinking you're so glad you bought that cast iron pot or those expensive sneakers. Yep. You're going to be thinking about those awesome memories you made with your family. Wow. So, you know, it's all just about adjusting your, your lifestyle and your priorities and stuff and making travel a real priority. This is true. I, and I like that. And I think once you've got a goal in mind, it will be so much easier to save because you'll be like, oh, going here, don't want to spend this money here. I'll wait, rather spend it over there. Yeah, exactly. And then, Emma, I wanted to know from you in terms of, I heard you 
telling the guys earlier that Travel Start has now also brought out like a voucher that you can redeem. Yes. Um, I know that you can redeem it on the app, but where else can you redeem it? So you can redeem the voucher the whole week. Um, it is subject to availability, so you need to get in fast. Um, but you can d redeem it um, either on the app or on our website, or you can also call our direct call center as well, and they can also help you book um, accommodation packages, car hire, all of that sort of stuff as well. Um, so they're also on, on call for any sort of uh, advice you need, all of that sort of stuff too. Uh, a lot of us have a tendency to bring home souvenirs from <laughs> our holidays, and we think we're doing the most, and we think that people are gonna love it, but why is this a bad idea? Um, I wouldn't say so much that it's a bad idea, but it's just that, you know, first of all, you're probably being ripped off horribly. True story. <laughs> um, but also, you know, you, you get so swept up when you're on holiday by all of these little trinkets and, you know, the, yeah. the, even the fashion, you know, you're like, this looks so great. I'm going to buy this. And you come home to South Africa and you're like, this does not suit my lifestyle <laughs> at all. <laughs> um, so rather spend your money while you're there on the experiences, take yeah. loads of photos, you know, take every day trip you can, you know, go snorkeling, do whatever it is. Um, spend your money there rather. And not that souvenir is going to end up in a drawer that you never ever go and check in any exactly. case so i can understand <laughs> that Spend little your statue money. of liberty exactly <laughs> on experiences yeah make that little disclaimer and emma i know that the the travel start dream week sale it is yes. this week starting today up until friday the 8th yes. of march yes. now when we book during this week when are those travel dates valid for so there's a huge variety of travel dates. Um, it really depends which deal that you're booking. So all of the terms and conditions are on the website. So if you look on that specific, um, whether it's um, Virgin Atlantic or Kaluna, whatever the case is, all of those terms and conditions as to when you can travel will be there. Um, some of it's all the way up until the end of this year, early next year and stuff. So there's, there's, a, wide, so there's a, a wide variety of dates and you can also book far enough in advance that you can save for all of your spending money when you get there too. Hey, awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much, Eva, for Pleasure. being here. And Thanks, of course, guys. for letting us in into what's going down with the Dream Week sale. Yes. How exciting. Travel Start's Dream Week sale is here from the 4th of March till the 8th of March. So don't miss out on some of the cheapest flight offers. We're bringing you your favorite destinations. Now, these sweet deals won't be around for long and you can still get amazing domestic and international flight specials today by visiting travelstart.co.za or by booking a flight on their trusty flight booking app called Flap. Book flights from 499 Rand only on travelstart.co.za. All right, so in a perfect world, we <laughs> would, of course, be able to keep our loved ones as close yeah. as possible all the time. Unfortunately, though, we all know that there are opportunities to be pursued overseas and abroad, which can put an almost insurmountable number of miles between our people and special life milestones and events as well, which is why you should take advantage of those travel start deals right now. Yeah, do it, do it for yourself, for the people that you love. And actually... A brand new reality show on SABC3 called Miles Apart, Miles Together is set to change all of that by motivating viewers to keep their connections tangible. Let's take a look. Miles Apart, Miles Together, a brand new show that reunites you with your loved one. Send us a video explaining who you would like to surprise by bringing a loved one from overseas or you can send us a video about a family or close friends event you would like to go to in South Africa to surprise a loved one. Send your video via WhatsApp to 060-642-9257. Brought to you by SABC3. All right, very awesome, cool, man. man. I absolutely love, love the premise of that. So um, for 13 weeks, we're going to be witnessing amazing people being reunited with one each other. Some incredible surprises being thrown into the works there as well. Um, and there are two ways that you can be a part of the action. You can nominate a person living in South Africa to be surprised by a loved one living overseas, or you can nominate a person who needs to fly a family member or friend um, to an event or a function somewhere in the country why not just put that crowning glory on an amazing moment by bringing oh, someone special to you into the mix? And it's mm. always beautiful to see those special moments. So if you think you have the perfect person who could use this particular opportunity, then make sure to submit your short video and motivation to the Miles Apart, Miles Together team via WhatsApp using that number 060-642-9257. So who knows, you might be creating new memories with tre uh, to treasure with your uh, faraway loved ones very, very soon. But it's definitely going to be something to keep an eye yeah, on. It's and it looks exciting. Beautiful.
Okay, well, we are taking a quick oh, break on your Feel Good Breakfast show. When we get back, things are getting nostalgic because many years ago, Francois Clark and Katlejo used to sing together and they're going to be performing a duet for us a little bit later this morning. And I was just checking out the poll currently going because it's Relationship Mondays with Dr. Eve and then we're talking about this one big question. Do women love harder than men? Please weigh in. This is all about you and, of course, you can stay anonymous, but do give, give us a call on 21 9881 We chat relationships after the break. I can hear a thunderous call for love to pour out on this desert sand with a mighty crash of lightning break the sky and let it pour. I can make these mountains move until Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. It's Expresso right here on SABC3. Now, last week, we opened up a real can of worms when we asked the question, is the perception that women love harder than men true? Well, we're carrying on with this conversation so we can hear more of your opinion as viewers, as well as commemorate the upcoming International Women's Day this Friday, the 8th of March. Yes, that's right. Yeah. So today, we continue asking you, are there major differences in how women and men approach love in relationships? And what would the reasons for that be? Well, we have our relationship expert, Dr. Eve, in studio to help us discuss this hot topic. And our lines are also open. Feel free to stay anonymous, but do call us. We'd love to hear from you. It's 21 Give us your questions. Give us your comments. We'd love for you to get involved because this yeah. is a safe space. So you're more than welcome to stay anonymous. Exactly. Dr. Eve in the house. Hi, hello. <laughs> You're looking fantastic. I say, I just love this. Outfit. We're all in the same color scheme. Same yeah. Yeah. I yeah. kind of stand out in my lingerie. So I knew we would be continuing with this one. This yes, was a hot Leanne. one last we did. week. We did. Remember we really Graham? Got, Graham, 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 Graham was ready. Graham was ready. And I was like so chilled. I was like, you were. Ah. Yeah, you were. You were. So it's maybe we're going to get a little excited. Absolutely. Um, um, I, I do want to mention yeah. what Graham just showed me as I got in today was this video of um, babes. Yes, of Babes Udumo. Yeah. Udumo. Um, deeply, deeply, deeply disturbing. And I do kind of almost want to warn people who are going to be looking at it to take care. Yeah. Because this is a real live action of w women who love too much. Yeah. And women who get stuck in situations because they love too much. Yeah. Um, and interesting that she put it onto Instagram, and I wonder if that is a, an appeal to say to a women. Call for help. Exactly. Yeah. Look, look, look where I find myself in. So this is, I'm, I'm mentioning it because this is an example of women who love too much. Yeah. Um, let's talk about what you're asking, Leanne, is do women love too much? And the question that I posed, and we'll have a look just now at the poll, is that do, do you think that women are socialized into it? And, and I really mm -hmm. believe that we are, yeah. meaning that we're taught to love too much. Yeah. We're taught that because we're supposed to take on the nurturing role, that we've got to love more than the man does. You know, yeah. it's like a good thing when she loves more than what he does. Yeah. So women tend to commit very easily, very quickly into a relationship for fear of losing this, this charm, this man, because he's supposed to be, and I'm talking about in a very patriarchal way, right? In a very heterosexist patriarchal way, yeah. things are shifting and changing where women, certainly 8th of, of, of March, are recognizing their rights, yeah. not to be those kind of women anymore. But we can't ignore that that socialization still kind of happens. Oh, 100%. That we have to look after our man because yeah. what are we afraid of? Yeah. 
he'll, he'll go somewhere else. You'll lose him if you don't look after him in, in every way possible. Yeah. So we're almost taught to have to love too much. Yeah. Because I don't believe that women do love too much. Yeah. I think that people should be loving as much as what they possibly can yeah. with an awareness of, of what harm it can be if we love too much like babes has loved too much. Yeah. Okay. Well, our lines do stay yes. open. Are there major differences in how women and men approach love in relationships? That's our topic for this morning. Yeah. Our lines are open. Please give us a call 021-430-9881 with your comments or your questions. We'll be back shortly. Going on there. Well, keep it going. 021-430-9881. Now, this past Saturday, so celebrities like Nomza Mombata, Maps Mapunyani, Rake Netling, and many others converge for a day of mingling and world-class sport at the 2019 Verklico Masters Polo, which was held at the prestigious Valdevi Estate. It was really amazing as three former South African captains went onto the field and they were going in at the polo with celebrities looking on in their designer best. Here's Nick Strelitz taking us behind. Behind the scenes. Listen, guys, if you're a fan of luxury, elegance, sophistication, all the celebrity scoop, just like me, this is your one stop destination. We're at the 2019 Vertfico Masters Polo in Valdiv, promising you a day of competitive polo, beautiful people, and some standout style. Let's go. Rick, you're the only Olympic swimmer, South African swimmer, to compete in four successive Olympic Games. You must be exhausted. Tell us more about life post-swimming. I mean, I retired almost 10 years ago, so it does feel like a previous lifetime, but uh, I'm very fortunate to be able to work here, to live here, and to be a part of this amazing story that's called Valdiv, the Valley of Life. But I'd say I probably work harder now than when I uh, yeah, was a professional athlete. It's actually quite a nice lifestyle to be a swimmer. You're trying hard to build an international brand here and uh, it's with partnerships like Verflico that we can achieve that. So we are here with one of the two co-hosts, legendary presenter Mark Bailey. You are first time hosting at Verflico Masters Polo with none other than the Nubian princess herself. Mr. Nzama Mabata, tell me, are you feeling a bit of nerves? What's going on in your mind right now? I'm really excited to be here. I've been here as a guest before, but obviously this adds a whole different dimension to it. We've got a fantastic polo game up ahead. Uh, I know a lot of people come for the party and the fashion, which is great, but this is actually the highest ranked polo teams that will ever have played at Valdivia Estate. So I'm excited to, to see them play. And as for Nomzamo, um, you know, what, what can I say? It's, it is pretty intimidating. This is her third time hosting this event. She's also traveled internationally hosting Perfect Co polo events. I think she's gonna carry the show and I'll just be there as a foil. Um, for her magnificence. Listen, Mark, you are a dapper dude. Whether you like it or not, you are. Tell me more about the fashion today. There's sort of high stakes in the fashion game, but the ladies generally take it away, don't they? And that's very kind of you, but it really is about the ladies' fashion. I mean, besides the, the male TV presenters who look absolutely phenomenal, I think guys take it pretty easy, especially on a day like this. They anticipate it's going to be hot, so they guys just come casual. The ladies take it to take it the next level, and, and that's that's what's exciting. So Mark, when you said male TV presenters, you I saw a little nod to my top billing colleagues over there, but I'm here as well, Mark. And I, and, I, and I love your accessorizing. I love your accessorizing here. I mean, a little the, fanny pack. Yeah. Would Mark, would Mark Bailey sport a fanny pack? No, no. Well, that's all I can say. <laughs> I, I, we're gonna cut it there. Thank you, Mark Bailey, and good luck to you today. Thank you very much. She is the hostess with the mostest. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lorna Maseko, I stole your tagline, sweetie. Oh, shade. Don't kill me, it's not my fault. I did it, it's me. I'm so about to hosting for your third time, girl. Yes. What, what makes you keep coming back? Have you looked around? Uh, I mean, I cannot get enough of the Verve Masters Polo. Every single year, we take it up a notch. But most importantly, it really is the most exclusive and most luxurious event in South Africa of the year. So why not have me to host? Okay. Hello. Hello, girl. Now listen, they did away with the best dress competition this yes, year. I would give you my best dress. Yeah, because I'm like, guys, am I? And they're like, oh, sorry, so we actually did away with it this year. I'm like, the one year I think I can actually right. get it, girl. <laughs> Tell me about who you're wearing. Tell us a bit about the motivation. So the inspiration was, was of course, the theme of this year's The Fico Masters Polo, which is Colorama. Yeah. A burst of color. Listen, we love the horses, no disrespect, but today is really about the fashion. I mean, can I be real? Does it get more fashionable than this man, Mr. Hamilton Nagubo? GQ, best dressed, top 10. How are you? I'm all right, senor. How are you? I'm, I'm great. 
What does it take to be a dapper gentleman, not just one day, but 365 days a year? For me, guys, keep it simple, but sometimes challenge yourself. You can never go wrong with a white crispy shirt as a gentleman. Proper shoe, a tailored suit is key. Guys, you heard it here first. We love the horses, we absolutely do, but this is where sartorial standouts come to show up and shut it down. Let's see what else is happening. With the man of the moment, Terrence J. Jenkins, I wore my pajamas. Nice. You wore something a bit better. I can be honest I like with you. this. This is Do you? I mean... I see what you did. Comfort is king. I saw a photo of you. You ran into Spike Lee at the airport, and your caption said something special about going home to the motherland. Yeah. It must be quite a... This is emotional, but certainly a symbolic sort of travel travel destination. Yeah, it is. You know, when you're in the States, we have no idea where we're from. You know, we, we, we've been stripped of our culture. We've been stripped of our, our history. So when you get to come home and really experience things and see it firsthand, there's just nothing like it. The theme was Colorama, so I thought, why not? Wakanda forever, let me look fabulous and colorful and African. This was inspired by um, some girl that I follow on Instagram. Um, I forgot her name, but yeah, she's really awesome. It's a good thing you forgot her name because you are shading her and we are living for this. <laughs> Listen, y'all, forget LA, forget New York. It's the South African edition of Vertico that matters most. What a day it's been, full of expensive people and expensive things, just the way I like it. We've seen fashion, we've seen polo, we've seen unequivocal style. I can't wait to see what's in store next year. Well, it's Monday and we are talking relationships. And today, our relationship expert, Dr. Eve, she's in the hot seat to help us discuss whether the perception that women can love harder than men is true or not. And our lines are open, so mm. do call us with your questions or comments on 021-430-9881. We would love to engage with you. Yeah, I, I, I want to talk about commitment. I really want women to call. Yeah. I want women to call. Yeah. And maybe men can dispute what women are saying. Is this a battle of the sex? I don't want it to become a battle yeah. of the sexes because I really do believe that people love, yeah. but women are disadvantaged. Yeah. Do you so, think this is yes, in the way ahead, women sorry. show their love in compared yes. to the way men show their love? Yeah, yeah, I think it's a great question mm. in terms of women having to be more expressive, uh, more emotive in doing that. But at the same time, I think that women are learning to be a little more filtered yeah. and a little more self-respecting yeah. and saying to the dudes, you know, come on, bring yeah. it on. But how do men show their love? Is it through gift giving? Is it through yeah. money transactions? Yeah. Is it through just genuine care, consideration, kindness, which is what people want, women yeah. and men want? Yeah. I, I, I keep on trying to remember the book that I read this in and it's called The, the Cinderella Effect. That yeah, you, yeah. you know, we're all, we're raised at least that's when I was uh, growing up, that a man is supposed to rescue you from exactly, this life. Yeah. He's, he's supposed to rescue you. Yeah. All you have to do is look pretty, show up, and one fine day he will come and he will rescue you and you will be full. You'll be in love for the rest of your life. And then yeah. we grow up and we realize yes. we've dressed well, we've showed up, and this man <laughs> is not here to rescue <laughs> us. You know. So then what happens is we keep on waiting to be yeah. rescued and we keep on showing to too much love because exactly. we're waiting for this man exactly. to just rescue us from yeah. this life and that's not the way that it should be because Absolutely. I think that's too much pressure on him to 100%. rescue one. You should be rescuing yourself. Yeah, 100%. Um, and I don't think a man can live up to that expectation. I don't think that they should. I'm absolutely with you on that and I think that is where that at that point where the waiting for women as you so beautifully described it leads women into being vulnerable yeah. to being with men who are not good enough. Because we were taught almost enough. to be vulnerable. It's your place to be vulnerable. Yeah, you, know, yeah. you shouldn't be strong. You shouldn't be self-sufficient. Because men don't, yeah. don't like that. You shouldn't be able to fix your own tire. That's yeah, a man's yeah. job. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So what women do then is that they pretend. I, I, I don't know if either of you have ever felt that. I know I have. Yeah. Of kind of pushing aside so you won't be too smart. We've had this discussion <laughs> about being okay. vulnerable yeah. and and we the two of us aren't vulnerable. Yeah. But we were we were discussing yeah. it last week about being put in a situation where you tend to be vulnerable and the two of us are like, nope, we can do it ourselves. Yeah. yeah <laughs> and then but, you push but, people away that way. Yeah. So so also to dumb down in front of men. Yeah. 
I think, you know, I'd love to hear from women. Do you do that? To yeah. dumb down so as not to make a man feel inadequate. And that's, you know, completely a red flag to you if you are feeling that way. Yeah that yeah. this is not a good situation for you yeah. to it's be It's never in. a good idea to dumb down so no. that someone doesn't feel intimidated exactly. around you. I can tell you, <laughs> try it, it doesn't work. Uh, <laughs> well, this is your last chance to give us a call. Yes, 021 4309 Ladies, you've got one or more opportunity. We are talking relationships and do women love differently to men? Um, oh man, it's, it's a tense one. I've been getting tense just not even in the segment. Okay, so Dr. Eve, don't worry, I'm still getting as worked up as I was um, last week. But we're going to continue with this conversation. One last opportunity for you guys to call 021 4309 We're asking the question Do women love harder than men? I'm not going to answer it. You can. I'm not going to answer it, but you can see uh, uh, Princess is waving on that side, man. Princess, you have something special there for us, eh? Because Lovely. she, because she loves us more. Yeah, and there, and there we more. see Katlech also waving in the background. Come, Francois Clark come. as well. Listen, here he is, here he is guys. <laughs> performance <laughs> Clark in the house with Princess. <laughs> Stick around for the performance <laughs> after the break. Brace yourselves. Awesome. Brace yourselves for this performance. Hi, mom. <laughs> <laughs> A moment in between with Macafe. See you after the break. Umtungu mutu, ngabantu, mutu ki mutu. Ngabantu, mutu ki mutu, kabantu. Umtungu mutu, kabantu, mutu ki mutu, kabantu. Umtungu mutu, ngabantu, mutu ki mutu, kabantu. It's the last thing I ever do for you. If it's the last thing I ever do for you. Oh, for you. I will climb the mountain tops. I will break open the sky. I will run until. Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso live right here on SABC3, giving you that feel good to kickstart your Monday in a brand new week. We've got the continuing hot discussion with Dr. Eve in studio this morning talking about do women love harder than men? And we've asked you on social media to leave some of your opinions on there. Is it a perception that needs to change? And uh, some of your comments have come through. Mapundi Mongala says, it's true and very sad at the same time. Women love, always love hard and they usually they usually, they usually get hurt and heartbroken by their partner. It's not easy to let go, even if you can see that the relationship is not working anymore. Men tend to play a lot with women's emotions and not even care about how you feel. They're not very good at expressing their feelings. They rather leave and move on to the next woman, which is just wrong. Benita Bezerenhout says, I think women do love harder than men, but due to the rejection we often receive because of it, we are slowly closing ourselves off. We do need to let men uh, work a bit harder to get over our walls. I think the shift of loving so hard needs to move from outward to inward. It's good to love hard. Just make sure you are loving yourself in the process. Why don't you let us know what you think? A quick look at the poll. 65% of you out there think it's true. 16% uh, of you said no. And of course, 19% of you said unsure. What do you think? Hashtag Expresso Show. Well, our final 
final moments with Dr. Eve. Of course, our lines are open. It's 021-430-9881. Dr. Eve, let's quickly touch on that Twitter poll you've put yeah, out yeah, this yeah. morning. Yes. And we did ask you, do you think women have been taught to love more than men? And taking a look at these answers, 65% said yes. Ah. No is 16%. And those who are unsure comes in at 19%. Okay, so people are saying we understand that yeah. women are taught to love too much is not a natural inclination yeah. for us. Is it, is, like it, is it love or is it taught to be committed more? Because they mm. see more women committed than men do. Yeah. Because uh, women are the ones who end up raising the child when yeah, the man exactly, leaves. So exactly. you've been taught There's women loyalty. stay, men go. And You're so right, Leanne, because when a woman leaves, especially if she leaves her children, oh my God, the scandal around yeah. that, right? Yeah. She's never allowed to leave yeah. without her children. Yeah. So I don't but know if it's, if it's necessarily leaves. love, it's just that we put up with things yeah, a lot more. Yeah, it's a whole than... commitment thing. I yeah. agree with you. Talking about commitment, yes. let's talk cheating for yes, a second. let's talk cheating there for a second. There is a perception that men tend to cheat more mm -hmm. than women. Yeah. However, in recent years, yes. with uh, women maybe becoming more like men and realizing that they're not going to uh, necessarily find the love that they so desire, they have also decided to <laughs> foray into the world yeah. of more than one relationship at the same time. Is that true? Who cheats more? Okay. Statistically, men. So, first of all, nobody's going to tell the truth. <laughs> and then, <laughs> secondly, yeah, no. secondly um, there's a fantastic book that one of my friends and colleagues called Wednesday Martin. She's a New York best-selling author. And she's written a book called Untrue. And she gathered all this incredible research into infidel infidelity. And what she says is untrue is everything that we know about women's infidelity. So she looks at it from an evolutionary point of view and says since the beginning of time, women had to cheat to be able to gather a whole lot more sperm for the chances of actually falling pregnant. So since the beginning of time, there's been equality around men and women cheating. And in many civilizations, it's been acceptable. We've just kind of refined it into saying, no, no, we need to control people's behavior. So cheating was illegal. Now it's not illegal anymore, but we need to control behavior yeah. and parenting. So cheating isn't acceptable. But everybody's, everybody's doing it. Everybody's doing it, especially on social media. Yeah. The, emotional cheating. Yeah. The emotional cheating, the sex thing, whatever one wants to call it. So the numbers, if you look at the statistics, actually, Zoe, the, it used to be men way higher than what women are, but now there's comparability. Yeah. Men and women are cheating almost equally if the, you know, one looks at research around that. So it's not true that women don't cheat. Women are cheating in a number of reasons why women do cheat. So one of them is because they feel dissatisfied and they don't want to feel as if they're owned. So this myth of women loving too much. We like to love a lot of people, men, women. Women as well. Women yeah. love women just as much as they love men. We've got some social media comments yes. here. Uh, Bongani Lutuli wrote to us saying, I think women do love more than us men, but they are also men who love more than women. Exactly. So you see the confusion. Oh, so we 100%. can't put it into a gender box about women loving too much men. Yes. We all love too much, but we're afraid. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're afraid to take the risks. Yeah. Okay. Well, we yeah. also have one sure. from Blanchet who says, as women, we tend to give ourselves completely. And in a way, it's not always a good thing because we tend to lose, uh, sorry, uh, I can't look at the screen, ourselves in a guy, and we forget to put our needs yes. first. Yeah, yeah. We really love too deep. So yeah, ladies, love with all your heart, but don't lose yourself in the process. Yeah, I, I really love that comment, Zoe, because it's, again, and I think a socialization of women, you really have to love too much. You yeah. really have to give everything to this person. Yeah. And so we yeah. do that. But she's given a good warning. Do not lose yourself. Yeah. But we do know of men that do love just as much as oh, well. Yeah. We never want to say that. We never want to say that you don't. We, we do. do. We, we know do. of a lot of men. Uh, the thing to keep in mind yeah. is that love is tough to define and thus can be difficult to research. Women and may, men may express themselves differently or experience things through a different lens. But at the end of the day, love is love and gender doesn't always play a role. What, what does play a role is abuse. And yes. because it's Women's Rights Day internationally yes. on Friday, that's the message that you know, I want to send to women. Yes. Is if it feels hard, it's wrong. Exactly. If it's full of pain, it's wrong. And if yeah. you are in a relationship that is abusive, please get support. 100%. Thank you, Dr. E, for okay. joining us. She'll be back again tomorrow. Yes. Oh, yes, yes, You're going to be joining me in the beauty room tomorrow morning. Tomorrow. I am. I'm going to be with you tomorrow morning. <laughs> yeah. Lovely. Thank you, Dr. E. Bye. <laughs>
Clover Fresh Milk is the number one milk brand in SA. Made with love by Clover. All right, take a breath. Um, very, very heavy discussion there. So thank you so much to the ladies for navigating through those tricky waters. Uh, but let's take a moment to pay that conversation respect and now shift gears back into the kitchen with our gorgeous Anel, who is going to be doing something truly special this morning. It's a meatless Monday, and we have obviously had a bit of meat, so we're going to balance it out with something that is so amazingly vegetarian um, that we've got you sorted. It's time for a classic Greek Bake it is moussaka. Yeah. When you say it, you're going to say moussaka. When you say it, you want to almost shiver. Say it again. Say it again. Actually, Whoopi Goldberg to say it. Uh, uh, look at that, dude. Look at that. Um, so, so we're going to make moussaka for Mustafa. <laughs> yeah. That's all good. Um, so listen, uh, this is great because we, yes. we're replacing the meat with, with, with ingredients that can almost like simulate it. You know, like yes. we have our aubergine here, which yeah. has got that umami kind of vibe to it and the meatiness in there as well. So, so let's put it together. Yes. It looks delicious. I'll, I'll be your passera. I yeah. will pass you what you need, and okay. you'll be your layer of Or I'll be the looker -er. The looker -er. <laughs> The looker -er. The looker, -er. The looker, -er. The looker -er. yeah. So firstly, I just want to quickly talk through this. This is like the meaty section. Okay. okay. So we've used like onion, mushrooms, lentils, um, oregano. A bit of protein in there as well, which is yeah, great Yeah, a little bit of a protein in there, and we've made this beautiful sauce. So this is actually the bolognese, if you want it, <laughs> that you normally use inside it. But the important thing nice. is the sauce that we make with clover fresh milk. Yes. So we're just adding a bit of, it's a white sauce base. We add okay. a bit of butter. Hey, and look now at that the flour. Sizzle. There you go. It's actually nice oh. when it sizzles. Sometimes it yes. burns a bit and it gives it actually extra nutty flavor. But, I mean, burnt yeah. butter is a thing now. It's, it's a massive a thing with thing. pastas and things like that. It yeah. adds that nuttiness, yes. as you say. Uh, but obviously don't take it too far. Yeah. Can you pour me about two, two of these half cups of I'm, milk, I'm fresh milk? Right. Yeah. You know the fresh milk has got fabulous calcium in, lots of Can calcium and healthy yeah, stuff in. Yeah. Can. And I think what people are nowadays looking for is also the, the shelf life because you know yeah. with the seal fresh packaging at least it lasts up to 18 days. Um, which is which is Moistra. which is good in any household at this yeah. stage. To be honest, this won't last a day in my household between Apparently, me and my yeah, boy. You see, we you just drink like, a lot of milk. Good. good. Um, I remember that coming home with my mother, I would just as soon as she got home, I would, I would hear that cram! <laughs> and she realized that I'd finished the milk and, and she hadn't bought it on her way home. So sorry, Mom. Uh, oh, <laughs> I apologize better, for the years. Better late than never, man. <laughs> I've just added a bit of cayenne pepper and a bit of nutmeg for flavor. Oh, nice. nice. And there we, look at guys. Look how beautiful that thickens up, eh? Yeah, wow. Your sauce is done. But does that happen for normal mortals like, like yes. ourselves? Really? Or is it only, <laughs> only something that happens for the pros? No, that, it happens. That... It happens. <laughs> so, what we've got here, I've already made some sauce. Okay. We're going to add some ricotta. To it. So if you can mix that through, Graham, there's Go Graham. Oh, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm the mixer as well. I'm yeah. loving it. So that is your sauce is made from wow. clover fresh milk. We add a bit of ricotta. Uh, if you don't have ricotta, you, yeah. can, you can use anything. You can use beautiful um, mature cheddar from clover. You can use feta cheese, anything. It just makes it richer. Okay. And, and ricotta is quite nice because it's not going to be overkill. Exactly. It's, it's a lighter cheese. Yeah. Exactly. It's got a lovely creaminess. Exactly. So cool. Listen, right. if you want to get your hands on the recipe, sorry there, I know you yeah. SMS the keyword clover 233728. That's clover 233728. We'll send you a a list of ingredients as well as a link to that recipe and you can make this tonight it looks absolutely delicious all right Lara, so are you Lara, ready man? you can just layer some of that so we start with this vegetables yeah a all nice right. layer a nice layer okay i'm yeah. just going to scoop it up it is when creating something you know that is vegetable based always think you and said it umami think of those yeah. flavors that are strong enough that can give you a meaty yes. taste or a meaty texture exactly. like mushrooms yeah. um there's so, so much that you can do in there an aubergine on top of that you're too smooth and creamy mm. to be an aubergine all right there we go, there go the eh? aubergine and then top it with some of this beautiful cheese sauce right. made from clover fresh milk. I'm gonna pop this guy over here. Mm. Yeah. Wow. And that looks divine. Can you imagine look, it yeah. under the grill bubbling and it's, and it's away? Gonna start smelling. The whole house is gonna mm. smell like crisping mm. cheese. Mm -hmm. And then that. some mature cheddar from clover. You can put that and on. I would say it's vital to to pre-grill. Especially yes. if you've got a griddle pan, your your aubergine, your eggplant, because that does bring out the yes. best in the flame. You yeah. want it to have that like smokiness. And now mm. I can say, moussaka. <laughs> Just look at that. And that goes in the oven for how long? Yeah, for about a half an hour. Bubbles away till it's melted. Because yeah. everything is actually cooked inside. Yeah. So, so listen, I'll tell you what, if you've missed any touches. of the steps, very quickly, here is a quick look at that recipe steps. Once again, the keyword is clover. Essence is that 233728. Moussaka. 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 This clover fresh milk vegetable moussaka is the perfect option for your meatless meals. The super filling, delicious and vegetarian moussaka is guaranteed to please even those who think they're not big fans of aubergine. To get this recipe started, add a touch of pride to a heated pan. 
Then add two chopped onions and two chopped garlic cloves. Cook until fragrant and soft. Add 70 grams of tomato paste and stir to combine. Next, add 250 grams of sliced mushrooms to the mixture and stir to combine. Add one cup vegetable stock. 400 grams drained chickpeas, 400 grams drained red lentils, two bay leaves, a handful of freshly chopped parsley and oregano, one sprig of rosemary, one teaspoon dried oregano, salt and pepper, two tins chopped tomatoes and stir to combine. Leave to simmer for an hour. For the white sauce, add three tablespoons of flour to three tablespoons of melted clover butter. Whisk until smooth. Then add two and a half cups of clover fresh full cream milk to the mixture. Whisk well. Add a pinch of cayenne pepper and a pinch of nutmeg and whisk to combine. Add 125 grams ricotta cheese to the mixture and whisk to combine. Grill aubergine slices until soft and golden brown. Begin the assembly of the dish by adding a layer of veggie filling, aubergine slices, ricotta sauce, another layer of veggie filling, another layer of aubergine slices, and top off with one cup of grated clover mature cheddar cheese. Bake at 180 degrees Celsius for 25 minutes and enjoy. Leave out the lamb and serve up a vegetarian version of this classic Greek bake with a delicious cheese topping thanks to clover. Made with love by clover. All right, well, there we have it. The keyword is clover, as in that two three three seven two eight for our delicious vegetarian Greek style moussaka. Woo! Yeah, moussaka. <laughs> you, wanna, you shiver every time you hear that. It's delicious. Try it out. Put it in your recipe book. Uh, clover two three three seven two eight. And else, thank and you. Put it in your yeah. mouth. I think it's the most important yes, part. So, uh, um, can we have a little little taste? Uh, go for it, dude. Go for oh, it. Can I, can I ruin this before we take it? Yes, I'm going please to. I'm ruin going it. To. I'm going to. Oh yes! Look at that. Oh, that looks it's amazing. So beautiful. Good luck, man. Mm, 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 might, mm. Be hot, might be hot, might be hot. He's doing the Moussaka dance. It's the Moussaka dance. There we go. Clover 233728. Nice. Clover Fresh Milk is the number one milk brand in SA. Made with love by Clover. Well, there is never a shortage of feel-good on your feel-good breakfast show, Express. We're going to take a quick break. After the break, you're wondering why Cat's standing behind the mic. Well, that's because him and Francois Clark are going to be taking us out with a stunning performance of a song called For You, which you do not want to miss. So stick around. Um <laughs> Umtungu mutu, ngabantu, mutu gibutu, hekabatu. Umtungu mutu, ngabantu, mutu gibutu, kabatu. Umtungu mutu, ngabantu, mutu gibutu, kabatu. To pour out on this desert sand With the mighty crash of lightning Break the sky and let it pour I can make these mountains move Until nothing's standing in Sing or don't be left unturned. I won't stop till I It's my feel-good breakfast show. 
Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. It's Expresso right here on SABC3. Now, before we wrap up the show, we need to drop a little bit of positivity into <laughs> your day. Boom. Proudly brought to us by New Robian. Uh, be the energy you want to attract. The energy of the mind is the essence of life. I'm going to oh, read that again. I love, I love that. that. Be the energy you want to attract. Wow. The energy of the mind is the essence of Look, man, life. That just went pow, Any, any pow, sentence pow, that contains the word essence. Essence, just, I like it, it, eh? just, it just packs a punch. The essence of what <laughs> I was trying to say is positivity. the essence yeah. of our positivity on the show because she keeps us positive. She's she our keeps heart. Us She's energetic. our soul. We're talking about the lady that experienced her birthday yesterday. Princess, did you have a nice birthday? Thank you, yes, I did. I did enjoy my birthday. Thank you. Oh, 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 I'm just waiting for you to leave with the cake as well, buddy. So no, 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 it's just what this is for Princess. Happy birthday, Mtase. Thank you, Mtase. Thank you very much. All the care that you give us, all the coffees, all the muffins. We love you. And yeah, also, you, you're you. just awesome as well, which makes yeah. a big difference in our lives every day. You really are cool yeah. to hang around with, so thank you so yeah. much. And yeah. what did you get up to yesterday? <laughs> <laughs> Don't be shy. Is well, it embarrassing? You, was it romantic? Oh, yeah. No, it was like... romantic. Whoa! <laughs> Do short birthday songs. Yes. 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 Three, two, one. This, this is, is your birthday song. It is a very long. Hey! Oh, happy birthday, birthday princess. Oh. Well, on that note, you've got a stunning performance I told you about. It is Francois Clark with Cat himself on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. Take it away! Jens, <laughs> own it. Umtungu Muntu, Ngabantu, Mutuki Muntu. He kabatu, umtungu muntu, ngabatu, mutu ki mutu. He kabatu, umtungu muntu, ngabatu, mutu ki mutu. He kabatu, umtungu muntu, ngabatu, mutu ki mutu. He kabatu. I can hear a thunderous call for love to pour out on this desert sand with the mighty crash of lightning break the sky and let it pour I can make these mountains move until nothing standing Single storm be left unturned. I won't stop till that river runs through your heart, and I know that you're no longer thirsty. I water, so you need no more. Should the clouds with For you, a fountain of a boy. If it's the last thing I ever do for you, if it's the last thing I ever do for you, oh, for you, I will climb the mountain tops. My dear, here's 